shake it right quick, Ara. Uh, yep. Still waiting. I think we just uh, came on. Yep. 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 All right, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. Hey, look, New Year Eve of Destruction, 2021. Hey, look, man, and look, it's gonna be a beautiful year, man, for the for the elect of the nation of Israel. Lord willing, we're part of that number. All right. Hey, but we're saying that we want to first and foremost give all praise, honor, and glory to the heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Next double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here for a bear. Rakata Yahweh, Rakata Yahweh Shai, Rakata Yahweh, Rakata Yahweh Shai, Rakata Yahweh, Rakata Yahweh Shai, Rakata Yahweh, Rakata Yahweh Shai. Rakata Yahawa, Rakata Yahweh Shai, Rakata Yahawa, Rakata Yahweh Shai. Shalak Rayam, Shalak Rayam, Wa Nashim, Wa Bajim, Wa Haragim, Wa Mashapachim. Al Kao, Adawam Yam Wa, Adawam Yam Wa, Adawam Yam Wa, Gawiyam Wa, Two Thirds Wa, A Yip Yip Nawa, Bubble Kasha, Bubble Kasha, Bubble Kasha, Bubble Kasha, Bubble Kasha, Yahawa, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, the water of mine. Hey, look, we're just gonna get into it, man. Lord willing, it'll be more death and destruction, you know. Get um, first scripture we're gonna get, get that first Thessalonians first, bro. Second Thessalonians, right? Now, first Thessalonians 5, start at one. We'll, we'll get that first. All right, let's get that first, bro. Oh, matter of fact, before you even get get, get that first, bro. One of y'all, all right, the book of the book of first Thessalonians, chapter 5, verse 1. It right. says, but of the times and the seasons, brethren, right. ye, have no, ye have no need that I write unto you. Right. Why? Because you should be already watching. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans should already be watching, man. All right? Should be watching as well as praying, man. Look, most definitely, the year 2021, you Israelites need to show enough pray, man. Because it's going to show enough be a bumpy ride, man. They're coming down with hey, um, the calm, get um, Daniel's 8 and 25. They're coming down with all kind of um, austerity measures. You know what I'm saying? Maxine, you know what I'm saying? Warp speed, all that, man. What does the scripture say again, bro? It says 1 Thessalonians 5 and 1. But right. of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. Hey, um, the come, hold that what you got. Get, um, what is that, bro? Matthew? The 16th chapter, discerning the times. Yep. Get that yep, Matthew 16, right on 16, start at three. Get that right quick, bro. This is Same Matthew. Matthew. We're dealing with time right now, right? We're dealing mm -hmm. with time, right? We're going into a new era, right? We're going into 2021, so-called, which we, we really don't even know what time it is, man. You know what I'm saying? But we're just going to say 2021 according to Sleesaw's time, you know? But we really don't know what time it is, man. But we, we do know it's close to the time of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai coming. If we don't do, if we don't know nothing else, we know it's we de, we one day closer to the Lord coming, man. Mm -hmm. So what is Satan to come? Kind. This is saying Ma Matthew chapter sixteen verse one. Sort of three. Verse three, kind. And in the morning, it will be foul weather today for the sky is red and loud started, started two bro so like it started two gone this is saint matthew chapter 16 verse 2 right he answered and said unto them when it is evening ye say it will be fair weather right for the sky is red go ahead and in the morning it will be foul weather today. For the sky is red and lowery. Right. 
Oh, ye hypocrites. Actually, you can discern, you can discern the face of the sky, but you cannot discern the signs of the time. Right. So our people can tell when it's gonna be sunny outside. Our people can tell when it's gonna rain. They grab an umbrella. When it's sunny, they grab some shorts. When it's winter time, they grab a jacket. But when you see your missiles being built, when you see them make it mandatory that you take Maxine, you know, um, Crown Royal, you know, when you're seeing a loss of jobs, when you see they no damn jobs, you know, when you, when you see um, these so-called benefits like Section 8 food steps, WIC, when you see it being cut off, you can't even discern the times that you're living in. But you can tell when it's sunny. Yo, yeah, you get your sun glasses, you get your hat, you know what I'm saying, so your head won't burn up from the sun rays and all that. But you can't discern what time it is, man. You see this enemy coming down with a wrath, man. They gave you a $600 stimulus check, man. You couldn't even discern what time it was when they did that. Mm -hmm. They were showing you, they were showing you that they, they don't give a damn about you, man. But, but you couldn't even discern it. That's why it's the scripture that we just read. That's alone is we shouldn't even have to write unto you what time it is. You should already know what time it is by seeing everything going on. Get Ecclesiastes, bro. Three. Yep, read verse it. one and then read eight. Come. Ecclesiastes three and one. Right. To, to everything there is a season. Right. Because it, it says measure the time diligently in itself, right? So we're measuring the time through the through the um rule stick pretty much, which is the Bible. Go ahead. It says, and a time to every purpose under the heaven. Right. Going right back into discernment, right? Winter, spring, summer, fall. You can pretty much tell when they're coming, right? You can discern when winter's getting ready to come, right? Mm -hmm. You can tell when, when spring or autumn is getting ready to come, right? You see all hell breaking loose and you still don't know what time it is. All hell is literally breaking loose, and our people still don't know what time it is. The New Year's Eve of destruction, man. And it's showing up going down, man. Regardless if you can discern what time it is, whether you still I, the majority of our people still sleep though, right, bro? Mm -hmm. They still sleep and they ain't even and look, you shaking them. Get the hell up. Get the hell up. Mm -hmm. It's time to go to work. Get the hell up. The alarm clock is going off and they snoring spiritually, right? Mm -hmm. In a coma, bro. Yep. Go ahead. Verse eight, a time to love and a time right. to hate. Right. So it's, it is a time to love. And it's a time to hate. Our people can't even discern what time that is, bro. They still think we're in a time of love, man. Oh, yeah. Hands up. Hands up. Don't shoot. Still get shot. They still think we're in a time of love, though, right? They can't discern that we're in a time of hate, man. Because why? They're not measuring the time diligently. Go ahead. It says... A time of war and a time right. of peace. So like a time of war and a time of peace. If you're a discerner of times, then you already know what time it is, man. The apostle Paul said, look, I ain't even got to write it to you what time it is. Why? Because you're watching and you're praying, you know, and you're keeping up with the signs of the time. And you most definitely going into the scriptures, man, linking it up to what's going on. So most definitely we're in a time of war. We're not in a time of peace. Mm -hmm. Get on me, Ezekiel 7, 25, and whatever else y'all got. Finish on um, that Thessalonians, bro. Uh, going back to 1 uh, Thessalonians 5 and uh, 1. Right. But of the time, <clears throat> but of the times and the seasons, brethren, right. you have no need that I write unto you. Right. So most definitely the brothers, the, the men that's in the note should already know what time it is. They shouldn't be somewhere docile. Not knowing what time it is, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Looking all, all docile in the face, you know? Right. The men of the Lord, starting off with the head apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, and the men on down, we most definitely should already know what time it is. Mm -hmm. No one shouldn't have to come and tell us, and hey, tap us on the shoulder. Yo, do, do, do you, you want to know what time it is? No. We should be tapping people on the shoulder like, yo, do you know what time it is? Mm -hmm. We're supposed to be those men to let the people know what time it is, right? Matter right. of fact, um, to come, get Ezekiel. Get Ezekiel um 33. Get yeah. Ezekiel 33 and start at, start at the top. Re read that. This is Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 1. Right. Again, the word of the Lord, Yahweh Shema Washai, came unto me, saying, 
son of man, speak to the children of thy people. Which are the Hebrew Israelites, which consist of these so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Go ahead. And say unto them, when I bring the sword upon a land, which that sword represents destruction. Go ahead. If the people of the land take a man of their coast and set him for their watchmen, right? If when he see if the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people, because he can. He's a discerner of times, man. All right, that's why he warned. That's why the watchman blows the trumpet, because he's a, a discerner of the times, man. He see the enemy coming in. Pending danger, pending destruction, coming upon the gates, man. So he blow the trumpet to get all ready for the battle. Because nobody ain't got to tell him what time it is. He see the enemy coming in, so he blow the trumpet. Just like the Apostle Paul just said, brethren, there's no need that I should write unto you. Because you already know what time it is. So you got the men, a.k.a. the watchmen, standing on top of the walls doing what? Blowing the trumpet loud. Letting you know through the spirit of your how about Shimia was shy, letting you know that the enemy is coming in like a flood, man. Hey, look, look, and he ain't sparing nobody, man. And our only way out of here is repenting and turning back to your how about Shimia was shy, Lord willing, he'll have mercy upon us, man. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Come verse four. Then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet, right, and take of not warning. And that's the majority of you, Nick Rose, Latinos, and Native American Indians, going right back to the point that we're making. You can't even discern the times. You can't. You hear the. You hear the sound of the trumpet, but you ain't taking heed. The scriptures been said that they heard the sound of the trumpet, but they said, "Look, I don't even want to hear it, man. I, I, I want to hear something else. I want to hear another sound. I, that that trumpet, you no know saying, it's hurting my ears. I'm tired of the warning. Because why our people hate correction is grievous unto them, telling them to return back to the God of the Bible." The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, that's a grievous thing to, uh, to two-thirds of our people. They say this word, this word is a reproach unto them. And, and, they, and they don't want to know it, man. So these videos that we do only for the elect of the nation of Israel to tell them to get their acts together, man. Because the Lord is coming back to destroy this place, man. Go ahead. It reads on. If the sword come and take him away, right. his his blood should be upon his own head. Go ahead. He heard the sound of the trumpet. Look, they heard no excuses no more. No excuses no more. They heard the sound of the trumpet. Going right back to Romans, the 10th chapter. Have they not heard? Yes, verily, they heard, man. Look, they heard the sound of the trumpet. They heard the warning, man. That's why when we see two-thirds getting cold killed out there in the streets, man, look, we have no pity. Well, look. That's our people, so of course I'm saying we're um, compassionate people. But we say the hell with it, man. That's mm -hmm. judgment upon them from your high above Shimei Why? Because they didn't take heed to the sound of the trumpet, even though they heard it, man. Go ahead. And took not warning. Re read that verse again, bro. Kind. This is Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 5. Right. He heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning. Right. His blood should be upon him. Meaning they didn't take heed to the instructions, which was first and foremost to fear you have but Shimei was shot. That's the first thing. That's the beginning of knowledge right there. Fearing the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. So they didn't even take heed to the instructions, man, according to the Bible, starting first and foremost off with fear, man. There was that warning. Fear was the, of the Lord was the first warning, man. Because who's bringing all these things? Who's killing? Who's making them alive, man? Who's wounding? Who's healing? Yahweh by Shimei was shy. Right. Go ahead. It reads on. But he that take of warning shall deliver his soul. Right. So let's go back to um, 1 Thessalonians 5. All right. Chime in, bro. Con, con, yep. Uh, uh, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 2. It right. says, For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. And if I could just chime yeah. in, you know, the spirit is having you mention time, time, time. The scriptures talk about time. We're supposed to be uh, taking a uh, great use of time, using our best, using uh, the doors of mercy to our advantage. Repent and seeking the Lord. And you got majority of our people who's not 
um, taking advantage of the do of, of the, the doors of mercy, man, while it's still open. Right. And they're not valuing the time. So that's why when the Lord comes, he's going to come as a thief in the night. And it makes more sense as we get closer to that time. Mm -hmm. Because as, as destruction is brewing up, our people still seeking the ways of this world, majority of our people. You know, as the scriptures say, it says, for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. I got which a is, precept too. Huh? Yep. Whenever you finish speaking or whatever, go ahead. Yeah, which a thief, what, what does a thief do? He, he catches you off guard when you least suspect it. But, but if you like the government of the house, you're watching, you know, you keeping the eye. That, hey, that's the hopeful elect there. And we pray the Lord keeps that um, on our spirit you know, to value time. We in high times, you know? That's right. This is on 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 11. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, we persuade men. That's right. We persuade men. We threaten men with these words, man, through the power and spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, knowing the terror of the Lord, you know, because he's coming as a thief in the night. And all these evil plagues that we, we always bring out that the Lord is bringing, you know, we we can only um bring it out through these words, but the details get ready to come in full of flesh, you know, mm -hmm. to take place, you know. But we're threatening you with these words through the power of spirit. How about never shot? Telling our people, look, repent and fear right. the Lord before it's too late. But what is Jake doing? They just they still got the Christmas lights up, they still got a tree, right. you know, they still are uh, they, they still partying or trying to party what best they can. But the Lord is showing them he's shutting it down and they still pushing against the grain. You know? Nakam, get that too. Get that um, what is it? Um, what is it, bro? Ezekiel 2. Um Ecclesiastes 7 and 2. Get mm -hmm. that for a raw. You know, because we the, the Lord is saying, look, man, you know, he's giving you signs. He, he he gave us signs, he gave us clues to measure the time, like like the brothers going into time. Time is very important. Hey, bro, I got a precept right quick. Bubba right. Kashan. Look, St. Mark chapter 13, verse 33. Take ye heed. Watch and pray. Watch and pray. Keep an eye on the things that's going on. The Lord gave us clues. You know, we're supposed to be measuring the times diligently in itself. So everything that's going on in the news, you know, is happening because the Lord is, is making these things happen. We're supposed to be watching and linking it up with the scriptures. That's and right. We're praying because we're coming in some heavy times, man. We need Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to be saved out of these things, man. We're worms, the Lord referred to That's us. Right. Brother. So we need Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. But then you got majority of our people uh, uh, cooning and buffooning. Right. Partying and mirthing it up. And the Lord said that we ain't in those times. Right. We, we read early in Ecclesiastes, the third chapter. It's a, time, it's a time for laughter and all that, man. It is. It's a time for partying. But then the Lord said it's also a time of hate. It's a time of love. It's a time of war. And it's a time of peace. It's a time for everything up under the sun. You should know what time it is right now, though. Mm -hmm. You know, this ain't this ain't the time for burgers and fringes, man. I know, right? This ain't the time for Israelite parties and all that. Man, ain't look. We in captivity. We in hell right about now. We slaves, my man. Mm -hmm. you, you forgot that we're slaves, man. Right. We're captives, man. Once again, Saint Mark thirteen thirty three. Take ye heed. Watch and pray, for ye know not when the time is. Yeah, so the Lord said, the heavenly, Yahweh Shai spoke, you know, saying, look, only the heavenly father knows when he's going to send forth Yahweh Shai. Right. So more, we have to be watching. Right. You know, we got to be paying attention to the clues. That's why, you know, brothers keep bringing out news articles, in the news, things of that nature. Right. No. No, because we have to be watching. We have to be. This is the only way that we can actually measure the times to see how close we are to Yahweh Shai coming forth. And by measure, it's, it's showing that we, we're close, man. You know, and, and this whole this, the word is about to be shut down. I got that precept for you, Saint Matthew 25 13. Watch therefore. Just like, just like, look, your watch. I got a watch on right now. Mm -hmm. What is the watch for? To discern what time it is, right? Watch therefore, for ye know neither the day nor the hour when the Son of Man cometh. Yep. And see, the hopeful elect, 
you know, they they are they don't want to be late to work. It's like you got you got the the two thirds. They don't care about being late. They don't care about being fired. Then you got the the hopeful election. Now nah, we need to get up. We need to be ready. Mm-hmm. You know, and I'm speaking spiritually. You know, right. it's a life or death situation. So you know, the alarm clock is going off, and the hopeful elect is is, is trying to be ready and get ready for for your house shots arrival. That's right, he's brother. Only, he's only coming for the elect, those who have been sincerely seeking him, who have mm-hmm. repented. Who've been fearing him, who has faith in him, and who's been striving for truth unto death, man. Right. So I'm gonna finish that uh Corinthians off. Um, second Corinthians 5 and 11, knowing th- knowing therefore the terror of the Lord. A terrible power is coming, man. You know, a terrible power. Now, and I was talking about it today, you know, saying to the, um to a guy that I talked to, you know, saying through the spirit or whatever, you no know, saying we be having spiritual conversations. The creator of the earth is coming. Mm-hmm. The creator of the earth is coming, man. And he already told us how he's coming. You know, he's coming like a bat out of hell, man. Get get that right quick in the calm. Get um Isaiah the thirteenth chapter. Okay. Right at verse six. The, look, look, our creator is coming. Mm. Uh, look, look, what type of behavior are you gonna be on before he come? Mm. You're going to try to be on your best behavior, man. Going right back to 2 Peter, the third chapter, man. How, how you going to be conducting yourself, you know, in, in, a, in a righteous manner? Because mm-hmm. the Lord is coming to judge, man. He's going to plead with all flesh, you know what I'm saying, with fire and by a sword, man. All right? Go ahead, brother. Come. This is Isaiah chapter 13, verse 6. Right. How ye. For the day of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem was shy is at hand. And the word how means to scream. It means to moan. Uh, a loud pitch sound, man. All right? This is what the day of the Lord is going to be like. You don't even know when he's going to come, man. Say we don't know the day nor the hour, man. But, but oh, yeah, this, this, five, four, three, two, and all this other nonsense, that ain't nothing but a ritual. Right. That ain't nothing but a satanic ritual. When you do them countdowns, that ain't nothing but a satanic ritual, man. Mm-hmm. Meaning, tell me, a new year starts in the dead of winter at, at midnight. At midnight, like my mom used to always tell me, the only thing out at midnight is whores, pimps, and drug dealers, man, and, and, and wicked people getting into wicked things, man. At 12 o'clock midnight, ain't nothing good going on out there, man. If you're outside at 12 o'clock midnight, you better be coming home from work, man. Right. You know? You better be on your home, on your way home, coming from work if you're out there late, man. Because anything else is, is wicked out there, man. Mm-hmm. Mm. What it say, bro? This is Isaiah chapter 13, verse 6. Right. How ye, for the day of the Lord, Yahweh Bashima was shy, is at hand. That's right. It shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. It shall come as a destruction. When the Lord come, he's going to come with a destructive, a destructive force, man. And then the thing about it, like the bro Ross said, you don't even know when it's going to come, man. It's going to come like a thief in the night. But the good man, you know what I'm saying, the house is going to be watching, though. Mm-hmm. You know? He getting his house in order. See, this is the time for us. See, your house by Shemel Shai has given us enough time to get your house in order, man. You know? Mm-hmm. Get it in order, man. When the Lord come in, he, he, he bring a fire to this place, man. The Lord is bringing fire to the earth, man. Mm-hmm. The New Year's Eve of destruction, man. That's when the Lord is bringing destruction, man. It should come as a destruction from the Almighty. Go ahead. Verse 7. Therefore shall all hands be faint. Right. Everybody talks about, I ain't, I ain't never been a weak Jew. Uh, I ain't never been a weak, weak Jew. Uh, all hands gonna be faint, man. The Lord said, All hands gonna be faint in that day, man. Weak, feeble. There ain't gonna be nobody talking about they tough and they thug in that day, man. Ain't, ain't no thugs in that day, man. Go ahead. Because because the, every- the, the scripture say the king of terrors is coming, man. The king of terrors is coming, man. All right, they always throwing that word out there. A terrorist, a terrorist. The king of terrors is coming, and his name is Lord Yahweh Shai, man. What are you talking about, man? Go ahead. And every man's heart shall melt. His mind, his mind. Go ahead. 
and they shall be afraid. And every man's mind shall whack. And every man's heart shall melt. Right. They, they gonna bug the hell out, man. You ain't gonna know what you ain't gonna know what to do. You ain't gonna know where to run. You ain't gonna know what to think. You once again, you ain't gonna know what to do. When you see this big humongous chariot, you know, say the size of a mountain cracking the skies, and you know you've been wicked as hell the whole time, you didn't repent, you look, you mock your scoff, the messages. What are you gonna do, man? You're gonna give up the spirit, man. And the ones that don't give mm -hmm. up the spirit, man, they're gonna they're gonna shit on themselves, you know what I'm saying, and everything else, man. And it's gonna say you're gonna howl, you're gonna scream, you're gonna moan, and all that, man. Mm -hmm. You're gonna try to say, Lord, Lord, your how was shot, your how was shot. But the Lord already said, those that call upon my name don't mean I'm gonna deliver them. Right. Go ahead. You wanna say something? And bro? Shall... No, I was just agreeing, Salaki. I was just agreeing. Right, you good. <laughs> Go ahead, Ron. Go ahead, to come. Come. And they shall be afraid. What? And they shall be afraid. No, no, not my God. Remember, not my God. My God is all nice. He's all love, right? He's a forgiving power. He look, we can just do whatever the hell we want to, right? He, he, he just look over everything that we did. We ain't got to repent. We ain't got to do nothing, right? What it say? And they shall be afraid. And they shall be afraid, mainly you Israelites, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Be very afraid. Be very, very afraid, man. All right? Go ahead. Pains and sorrows. Pains and sorrow, man. You're going to be sorrowful in that day, man. Okay? You're going to wish you would have repented in that day. And look, going right back to um, Revelation 9 and 6, they're they going to seek death, bro, but death going to flee away from them, man. All right? They don't wish they were dead, man, by the time the Lord come up on the scene. Go ahead. Pains and sorrows shall take hold of them. Go ahead. They shall be look, in look, pain. Look, look, sorrows, so lucky like, them sorrows and them pains going to cleave to them, man. It's going to cleave to them, man. It's going to be like a shadow, man. I mean, it ain't going nowhere, bro. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. They shall be in pain as a woman that travelleth. Right. Go ahead. They shall be amazed oh, one yeah, at so another. Like bro, so like your bro, you know what I'm saying? And I got a daughter, you know what I'm saying? Um, the, um, the mother of my daughter told me it felt like she was about to die, man. All right? When she was having that baby, when that baby was being conceived, she said it felt like she was about to die, man. So that's what that's what the majority of our people and these heathens going to feel, man. You know what I'm saying? It says pain and sorrow shall cleave unto them like a woman that travelled with a child, man. They're gonna be catching the, the, the most hell, man. You see that woman on that on that um that bed, you know what I'm saying? About to have that bed. <laughs> you see what she do, man. Mm -hmm. That's what these people gonna be like soon come, man. They didn't want to take heed to the word. It, it, it was an Israelite party, right? You know what I'm saying? Purple rain and all that other nonsense, right, bro? You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. They shall be in pain. As a woman that travels, go ahead. They shall be amazed one at another. Go ahead. Their faces shall be as flame. Right. Go ahead. Behold, the day of the Lord Yahweh Bashimawashai cometh. Right. Cruel. Cruel, oh. man. The day of the Lord consists of being cruel. Go ahead. Cruel, both with wrath. Right. And fierce anger. And fierce anger. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men because the Lord is coming cruel. He's coming with wrath and he's coming angry, man. Angry. But oh yeah, I thought the Lord loved all the little children all over the world, right? You forgot this is the same power that flooded the whole earth, man. This is the same power that flooded the whole earth, man. You know? Go ahead. To lay the land desolate. To lay this land called America desolate, meaning uninhabited, man. So no matter if you got a um, bunker, no say an underground bunker shelter or whatever, man, it's still not gonna deliver you from the clutches of your house, but he's gonna lay this land desolate, man. Mm -hmm. so look, look, nuclear fire is gonna burn this place, man. 200 million ICBM missiles, according to the Bible, are gonna hit the shores of America, aka Babylon, the land of confusion, real soon. That's it. Just a little bit more. And he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. Right. The transgressors, man. The breakers of the laws. And we rehearsing the laws. 
You do it to the best of your ability. But the people are the Israelites that are doing it um willingly and, and, and not repent for the things that they have done wrong. Look, you're gonna be destroyed over here in America, man. And, and throughout the four corners of the earth, but mainly here in America, you're saving the best for last, man. You thought you thought it was gonna be all peaceful. You thought you thought you were gonna live your best life. You remember 2020 first came in, they were singing they, they're gonna live their best life, right? Mm -hmm. They ain't worried about nothing, right? I'm living my best life, yeah, and all this other nonsense, right? right. So, so I ain't worried about nothing, dancing and all that, making mockery at the prophets and all that, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But then what January the second or January the third, all hell broke loose, man. And it's been rough. Look on what is it on 365 days of the year. Well, yep. 360 days of this year is the Lord brought hell to it, man. Mm -hmm. Hell, he brought <laughs> hell to this place, man. Yep. And, look, and, look, and the thing about it, nobody can stop it, man. Sleazy, he couldn't even stop it, man. Mm -hmm. Even he said, What the hell is going on? You know what I'm saying, bro? Word up. Even Sleazy, he said, What the hell is going on, man? Right. It's a power you have by Shimmy Shot. That's what's going on. And that's the end of that, bro. I got something for you, Ara. This uh, is Romans. This is Romans. And somebody hold that arm, um, that Amos 9 and 8. Romans chapter 13, verse 11. And that, knowing the time. There go that word time again. You know, you got to know what time it is. We're in the end of this man's rulership. Scripture say, uh, Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning thereof that follow it. Right. We paraphrasing. Right. This there's a transition taking place here, transition to kingdoms. So right. You know, the time we in, and that, that transition is going to be a, a, rough, a bumpy ride, man. Right. That's right, bro. Anytime you go back to any time period in history, when when one uh, people or one nation was taking down another nation, it, it was always through violence, bro. Mm -hmm. Massive people always die. You know what I'm saying? Blood, guts. Yep. Uh, torsos, you know what I'm saying? Women being ravished, all that invading other homes. Same thing that you that we leading up to, man. It's all leading up to the to the um, to the climax, so to speak. You know, that's why the scriptures say Romans mm -hmm. chapter thirteen verse eleven, and that knowing the time, that now, now it is high mm -hmm. time to wake out of sleep. It's high time to wake out of sleep. That's why that trumpet is being blown. You know, that's why the, 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 the Lord put on the spirit of Apostle Tahar for us to do videos every day because that's the trumpet being blown even louder because what? The, the, we're in the high times, man. No, we're trying to wake our people up, but you know, only we don't, we know only the elect is going to wake up. You know, Lord, when we're part of that number, but we still have to push out this word across the four corners of the earth, man, and let Jake know what time it is, man. We in high that's times. Right. Ain't no um, time to be, again, going back to um, Ecclesiastes uh, 7 and 2. It's not the time to be partying, man. It's the time to be in a morning state of mind. Mm -hmm. That's right, bro. It says, um, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. So this, this destruction, everything that's lined up, the Lord is bringing forth is good news, man. Because that means that our salvation is nearer than when we believe, man. We're so close to it. Lord, when we're part right. of that number. So we're looking forward to 2021. That's right, Because we know bro. it's going to be 2020, man. Hey, no, bro, it was to say, bro, so like your bro, we're looking for a new heaven and a new earth which dwell of righteousness, man. This is what mm -hmm. our people should be looking forward to, man. A righteous kingdom, a righteous ruler. to come get on um, Proverbs 29 and 2. Did we read that yet? Nope. Let's get that right quick, man. Because long as sleazy eat, our people praying for this devil, you know what I'm saying, to be to stay in power, bro. Well, long as this devil's in power, you're gonna remain a suspect, right. Mm -hmm. You're gonna constantly get followed around the mall, right? Yep. Someone's gonna always gonna come up to you. You have never seen before and say, Hey yo, that's my cell phone. Let me get that. Right. Right? You're gonna always be going through something. You're gonna always you're gonna be driving down the damn street, you know what I'm saying? Looking through the rear view mirror, one uh, worried about if you're gonna get pulled or not when you see a cop car coming down the street, right? And you ain't did that, you just, just got out of work. And look, that's including the men of the Lord. Yep. You know. <laughs> You know you ain't did nothing. You just not getting out work. Tired as hell, sweaty as hell, ready to get home, sip something, or either lay down and eat something. That's how you know. Pick up a cop car coming behind you, running your tags. Read that right quick, bro. Time. This is Proverbs chapter 28. 29. 29. Yeah, 29. This is Proverbs chapter 29, verse 2. 
Right. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. You got it, Aron. Hey, that's the gospel right there, man. Knowing that, you know, Yahweh Shai is about to come back and, and take over. You know, the everlasting kingdom is going to be established. That's righteousness, man. We're going to be rejoicing. You know, we're going to be enjoying um, our life, man. Not having to worry about, you know, uh, our enemies ruling over us. You know, but we're not in those times. So we're in a morning state of mind. We're looking forward to the destruction of this place, man. Right. Ain't but you when the, to get to hell? Aren't you tired of being looked down upon? You can't rule your household. You can't make any um decisions about what, what should happen on the earth right about now. You know, mm -hmm. you can we right. can't make no decisions on nothing right about now, bro. One thing we can do is read the scriptures, go to damn work, come back home, catch that look, catch that little ass check, you know what I'm saying, and, and <laughs> shut up. You know what I'm saying? Just shut up. It's the only thing you can do right about now. But Lord willing, if we of that number, man, we're gonna be part of the governing body of Yahweh Bashim Shai, you know? Hey, and Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Shalom, Shalom, you know? Shalom. Hey, look, man, look, we can't look, bro, we can't even enjoy each other, man. No. Because why? We're dealing with time right about now. We're dealing with Sleesaw's time right about now. So anytime we get up, what we got to do? Hurry up, do what we got to do. All right, bro, I know you got to go to work. You got to get back to normal life. It ain't going to be like that soon come. Because when mm. the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice, man. So you already know ain't nobody righteous ruling the earth right about now. Right. Read on, bro. It reads on. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. People are mourning. You got to wear the mask everywhere, you know? And then you, you got people lashing out, the anti-maskers, man. They don't want to wear their mask right. because, it, you know, breathing, it, it should be a part of uh, nature. It's, it's a part of nature, man, a natural life. Breathing, breathing should be fundamental, right? Right, fundamental. You know? <laughs> bro, bro, we got to get out of here, man. The New Year's Eve of destruction, man. We pray to you how by Shemel Shai ain't come back. He just bring more hell, more destruction, more death, more chaos, man. But it's going to be one more day closer to us getting out of here, Lord's will, man. That's right. Mm -hmm. When you finish speaking, I got another precept for you, too. We're just going to keep on rolling. Now come, read that again, bro. Kind. Mm -hmm. This is Proverbs chapter 29, verse 2. A lot of people think about living their best life right about now. Bro, I think people think about a club and right about now. Then they tore the damn um, liquor store up, buying all that liquor for the night. And it's all satanic, man. Now, we got some sippy sippy, you know what I'm saying? We got some strong or whatever, whatever. But it ain't it ain't to celebrate the uh, five, four, three, two, one, all that nonsense. You know? Right. It's right. a um, give uh, wine to a man, make it for Mary. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's, it's pretty much a stress reliever right about now, right? Mm-hmm. Look, look, we celebrating, uh, we pour up a drink to the downfall of this place, you know? Hey. Read it again, right. Nikon. Kind. This is Proverbs chapter 29, verse 2. Right. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. And our mm -hmm. people, two-thirds of our people hate to hear that too, man. Mm -hmm. You heard it. Tupac said, I wonder if heaven got a ghetto. <laughs> no saying, bro? But when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice, man. Our people don't want to rejoice in righteousness, man. They want to rejoice in wickedness, bro. They love the um the um the pig pickings. You know what I'm saying? They love all this nonsense, man. They love messing with the next man's woman. They, they do not want to hear nothing righteous, man. Remember that day we told that woman, according to the Bible, that pork, you know what I'm saying, is a bad thing. What did she say? But it's good. It's, oh, look, we weren't even talking to her, right? She just came out of the cut, bro. She came from the left field, right? She came from left field to my pork is good. It's good. But the Lord said everything that tastes good ain't good. Oh, yep. We you gonna go to the candy store and, and buy every uh, piece of chocolate up in that thing. That's saying you know you um diabetes bound. So everything that look good ain't good for you. That's right. That's why we pray, man, for a new kingdom, a new heaven, a new earth, which dwell in righteousness, man. You know, the Lord said, I have stricken you. What more must I do? I got you in the ghettos. I got you in the poverty-stricken neighborhoods. Got you on top of all kind of drugs. Got, got Esau beating you down each and every day, but that ain't enough, man. You know, we understand now, man. We understand fearing your high about Shemel Shai and doing what is written is the best thing for us, man. 
not living a careless life, man. You know, that, that black culture is a deaf culture, man. Mm -hmm. that, that led to us dying all these years, man. Thousands of years just been dying, coming back, dying again, born again, dying again, man. Why? Because the wages of sin is death, man. We want, we want to get rid of this body right here, bro. This, this body is breaking down while we make this lesson, man. We pray for new bodies, man. You know? We pray that we'll never, ever go off again, man. This, that's, that's why we need righteous rulers, bro. Mm -hmm. We can't even serve you how about Shemiah Shah correctly, man. Because on the Sabbath, we got to work, right? Right. You know what I'm saying? If, if you got a woman, you ain't got enough money to have her go stay at another crib. She on her cycle, and she got to stay there, right? Mm -hmm. Why? Why? Because the wicked is ruling right about now, right? Go ahead, brother. It reads on. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. Right. That's why that's why Kim Treasure in the air, fluoride in the water, GMO foods. Um, your woman can call the cops on you and lie and get you kicked out of the house and get you arrested. You know, you can't even make a decision. You know what I'm saying? If if you want your baby to live or die, right? You want your baby to live, but here with a woman, mm. I don't want to have it. She'll go right behind your back. Destroy the baby and and, and sleep saw no saying a payer to do it, you know. And if and if you slap her down to the floor, you no know saying, or he, or either put her to flight, you no know saying, you know you're going down for twenty five years and better, right? And this is what happens when the wicked bear of rule, right? Mm -hmm. Go ahead, bro. Let me read it, it again. Now that's it on that. Go ahead, Ara. Matter of fact, let uh, me go, on, go back to first. Let me go back to first let me finish this Romans off for you. Let me finish this Romans off for you. Romans chapter thirteen, verse twelve. The night is far spent; the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast mm -hmm. off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Yeah, the night is far spent, man. Uh, Esau's rulership is on its way out, man. You know, and the Lord's given the um the Holy Spirit for the whole elect to see these things, man. You right. know, and the day is at hand, meaning the kingdom is at hand. You know, that's why um brothers, you know, is having faith boosts, seeing more chariots, you know, seeing chariot sightings and all these prophecies coming to pass. Right. It's it, it uplifting in the spirit, man. That's why it's gonna right. say um, put away the darkness, meaning repent. You know, come back to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. Why that's you have right. Because time is running short. Look, it's good to say that the end is nearer than what we believe. Mm -hmm. The end is nearer than what we believe. Look, man, we look. We didn't understand the chariots years ago, man. Mm -hmm. You know, you look up in the sky, you might see something passing through. We didn't understand, it, but now, man, it's a faith booster, like you said, bro. When we see those chariots, mm -hmm. and we know that we know the angels are watching us at the same time, but we know that's also representing deliverance too. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I got one more, man. Nicole, what you holding, bro? You holding the Amos, the ninth chapter? The Amos ninth chapter, yep. Yeah, you let me it? read this right quick. Yeah, hold on. Let me read this right quick. St. Luke chapter 21, verse 36. Watch ye therefore and pray always. Always. Watch ye therefore and pray always. That's that's without cease. You know, you got to continue to watch because, you know, you don't want to get caught off guard. We just scripture this um, brother. One of the brothers read that no Lord coming as a thief in the night. So you got to continue to watch and pray. That's right. Because, you know, now that we got the names, the Lord gave us the names, you know, which we didn't have that for years, man. So now we could tap back and tap, tap into our power. This That's is how right, brother. Action. This is how we going to, you know, um, some some brothers going to have healing powers or. You know, spiritual powers. This is how we're going to be able to get it by praying and, and believing in how about Shemia was shy. This is how we're going to be protected. This is how we're going to eat during the famine. So we, we got to constantly watch and pray. Can you hear me, bro? Yeah, I can hear you. I hear feedback somewhere. Like it. Yeah, I can hear you, though. Con. I got a scripture. I got a scripture for you, though. I'm looking for it. Con. Uh, let me see. Bear with me. Um, sending Psalms. It's basically, you know, saying you want to like praying constantly, you know, saying to your how about mm -hmm. shot in the morning, noon, and the night. Kind, yeah. Well, King David, um, he 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 talked about that in uh, in one of the um Psalms. I think that's probably what you're gonna get. 
You know, that's something he did every morning, you know, throughout the day. You know, constantly prayed and, and you know, we look to our forefathers of how we should conduct ourselves, those who were seeking out by Shinya You know, they were they were rooted in faith, man. They constantly prayed to the Lord. You know? I can't find it right about now, but let's see. It's, it's in the Psalms. Nakam, if you can find it, it pretty much says morning, uh -huh. noon, and night. Will I pray to you how about Shimia Shai? If you can find that, Baba Kashar. I got it. I got it. Psalms 55 and 17. The water you have, Bashim Yahushai, Kahalayim La, you have Bashim Yahushai. There you go. Look, look, just wait, right? It's all about waiting on the Lord, right? Psalms chapter 55, verse 17. Evening and morning and at noon will I pray and cry aloud, and he shall hear my voice. That's right. The Lord hears the prayers of the righteous, those who have been, look, look, you know, hurt. No, con, con, con. Good con. mark that. Yep. Psalm 55 and 17. Con. Psalm 55 and 17, con. Go ahead, Ara. Yeah, the Lord hears the, the, the prayers and the cries of the righteous. Those who are, you know, uh, rehearsing the righteous acts to the best of their ability, living by the standards of, of the Most High to the best of their ability. You know, they're going to be, one of the traits that the hopeful is going to have is they're going to constantly pray to you how about Shemiah was shot. That's, right. that's one of the the elect is going to have and that's what we're supposed to be doing in these times you know and and this is how you know lord's hearing the cries and the, the prayers from the uh, hopeful elect crying mm -hmm. for south crying for the place to be destroyed man and that's, that's right why all these prophecies speeding up you know the lord's hearing that that's right once again saint luke 21 36 watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass. All these plagues, you know, all the um, end time destruction that, that the scriptures, you know, contain. You want to be able, we want to escape those things, you know. We want to be worthy to be beamed up in those chariots. You know, we want to be found blameless when Yahweh comes, when, when he comes back. Right. You know? But we got to take heed, man, watch and pray, you know. And, and of course, you got to repent. First and foremost, you know, if you haven't repent, you got the names, man. What, what the hell are you doing? Right. Yeah, and I'm saying, look, the things that are coming to pass is martial law, a famine, cannibalism, uh, the issuing in of the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast, man. You know? Yep. The beheading of Israelites that don't take the um the mark, man. You know what I'm saying? Right. Karagma, indecision, the printed mark. A cut it in the flesh, the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast, man. All right? Let's get ready to go, man. They got torture chambers up in those concentration camps, man. Mm -hmm. Once again, cannibalism. Oh, yeah. The ICBM missiles, the laser beams from the chariots. You want to be yeah. counting words? Oh, yeah. Can't forget these animals when animals attack. Mm -hmm. You got you have all these animals getting loose from the zoos, man. We read about it. Look, the spirits created for vengeance. Yeah. You want to be accounted worthy to escape all that, man. And, and on top of that, we ain't even worthy. I know, right? We're not even worthy of it, man. So we pray to you how about Shemel Shai, Lord willing, they'll have mercy upon us, man, because we ain't worthy, man. You know? All our righteousness is just filthy rags, man. The Heavenly Father sees us through Lord Yahweh Shai's eyes, man. You know what I'm saying? Our righteousness come of the Lord, man. So, Lord willing, Lord, Yahweh Shai, I have mercy on us, man. When he start bringing these plagues to the earth, man, because he's bringing it, man. It says, and to stand before the Son of Man. And to stand before the Son of Man when he comes, you know, when he comes back. You know, that's the mindset that we need to be in is watching and praying and, and that we be found blameless and we escape the, you know, the things that Brother, Lin brother talked about, you know, destruction right. Lord's bringing, you know. These heavy plagues. Go ahead, bro. Get that Amos. Oh, going back. Amos, come. Yeah, get that Amos. This is Amos chapter 9, verse 10. 8. Come, verse 8. Behold, the eyes of the Lord God, Yahweh Shai, 
are upon the sinful kingdom. Yeah, the Lord's eyes are upon the sinful kingdom. No, the Lord has his angels keeping an eye on this place. What's that sinful kingdom? America. Babylon the Great. You know, watching all the wickedness this place is promoting. You know, the woman over the man. You know, sodomy. You know, uh, unrighteous decree of laws. And then you know, we know usury this, law. Bro. Let me just say this, bro. Now we know ultimately, you know what I'm saying, that sinful kingdom is Israel. Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, but you can equate that with America right about now, right? They say that the Bible is the law of the land, right? Mm -hmm. America breaks every law, statutes, commandment of the Bible, hands down, every day. Look, mm -hmm. on purpose. On purpose, man. So you can equate, you know what I'm saying, that sinful kingdom to America now, too. You know what I'm saying? And what did the Lord say he's going to do to it to come? He said, and I will destroy it. He's going to destroy it, man. Not love it, not heal it, not build it back up. He's going to destroy it, man. New Year's Eve of destruction. The Lord said he's going to destroy this place from off the face of the earth, man. That's what we're looking forward to. And yeah, we're going we're gonna to be in the, dead in the mix of it, man. We're going to end up losing our jobs. We'll probably end up losing our cribs. You know, but long as you got faith, that's all you need, right? Right. That's all you need. At the end of the day, if you lose everything, long as you still got faith, look, that's all that matters, man. You know, because you got faith, that means there's still hope. Mm -hmm. That's why the Lord said, when I come, shall I find faith on earth? Because a whole lot of people going gonna to lose faith, man, with all these things that are coming down the past, man. That's why that's why going right back to what I read in um, St. Luke 21 and 36, we pray and we watch. That we, that we may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand in front of the Son of Man, you know, and get delivered, you know what I'm saying? And not right. be destroyed. Because the Lord says he's going to destroy this place from off the face of the earth. How is he going to do it? By way of the ICBM missiles and by way of the chariots. No, because we don't get it, um, the, the chariots, a.k.a. UFOs, enough credit. Mm. They're going to be shooting laser beams like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm. Rapid fire, man. You know the Lord gonna get it in, bro. Right. The Lord gonna get it. He gonna show his power when he come, man. The Lord ain't gonna let no ICBM missiles outdo him, man. I know, right? You know the ICBM. They gonna show no cook because that's the weapons of his indignation. They gonna cook some things, but then Lord Yahusha gonna let the angels get busy too, man. You know? Mm. Then say so he's gonna make a speedy riddance of this place, man. What, what, he's gonna do what to the sinful kingdom, bro? It says, and I will destroy it. That's right. From off the face of the earth. So you got people gathering, holding hands. So, so, um, they're praying that, that the God of the Bible, you know what I'm saying, heals America. Well, he just said he's going to destroy it from off the face of the earth. What else, bro? Saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob. Save the Lord. Yeah, the Lord is going to uh, save the elect. You know, and that's a promise the Lord made. He's going to save the elect. What, um, Lord, how should I say you can't pluck them out of my hand? Right. You know? that, and that's a promise. And that's why we want to we want to be a part of it. We want to be counted worthy. That's right. We want to be counted worthy, man, because we want, you know, there's a promise the Lord gave and the Lord is bound by his promise. Mm -hmm. You know, so in this, this whole destruction is going to take place. You know, hey, the elect is going to um, escape it. Right. So expect more earthquakes, expect more wars, more rumors of wars, expect more death, expect more destruction, expect more poverty, expect more widowhood, expect more job losses, expect the unexpected, man. Mm -hmm. The Lord just had me do a lesson on that, man. You know, mm -hmm. what to expect for 2021, man. Expect the unexpected, man, all right? Expect a, a greater famine than you'd have never seen, man. Expect for this mm. devil to come down with more wrath. Expect for more of your rights to be so-called rights to be taken away from you. Expect that, man. Expect to get jabbed up, man. You know what I'm saying? I know, Expect right? To get jabbed the hell up, man. A right hook, okay. left hook. You know what I'm saying, bro? Expect that, mm -hmm. man. Joel, chapter two. You want to chime in? You want to say something, bro? No, I was going to say, expect more diseases, you know? Right. People, more, people plagues. Just, you know, more plagues, you know? People just dying like flies. People going to be dropping like flies come soon, you know? Right. Dropping like hell, bro. <laughs> hey, Joel, chapter 2, verse 1, blow ye, blow ye the trumpet in Zion, 
and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Mm -hmm. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. Yeah, blow the trumpet. This word, man. You know, and that's what the the, the watchman, the AKA prophets, the Lord set up is doing, blowing the trumpet. You know, mm -hmm. to you Israelites, you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. Okay, this word is for you. Okay, and, and look, everyone's gonna fear come soon. That's right. Hey, but the the hopeful elect is fearing now. You want to fear right. now and not later. That's no, right. Because if you fear later, it's a bad case for you. That means you, right. the Lord had to had to had to put you through something and, and eventually take you out for you to fear. Mm -hmm. You know. But all is the that's all that's the Salaki. No, Salaki. Go ahead, Salaki. Come, all the inhabitants of the earth is going to tremble, man. Especially when Lord Yahweh comes, every living thing is going to be trembling when Yahweh Shai arrives. Hey, right. I, I want to get that definition too, man. Huh? I'm gonna get that definition right quick. Speak right quick, Ra. Huh? Yeah. You know, we supposed to be blowing the trumpet. You know, a ain't no t ain't no breaks. She's gonna say, um, priests were in season, out of season. So we're supposed to be going out there warning the nation of Israel, hey, repent before it's too late. Because you know the Lord is coming, the, the the King of Terrors is coming. Oh, bro, listen to this, bro. Tremble. It's a verb of a person, a part of the body, or the voice shake involuntarily. Huh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it look typically as a result of anxiety, mm. excitement, or friend friendly, friendly, f r a. I L T Y F R A I T Y F R A I L T Y friendly. Yeah, I don't know that word. <laughs> friendly, friendly. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying something like that. But yeah. basically, it says when, when you're scared to death, man. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Anxiety it says, it says um quiver, you know, mm -hmm. look, tremor. Mm -hmm. Hey, look, a terrible feeling. Movement or sound. Mm -hmm. It says um a physical or emotional condition marked by trembling. Mm -hmm. You know, you you pretty much scared to death, man. It says let all the inhabitants of the earth, man, all the inhabitants of the earth tremble. Everybody, all means everybody, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody. It says um for the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand. Yep, and that and then part of that definition you said involuntarily. Yeah. So you're gonna be a, you're gonna tremble, you're gonna be afraid involuntarily. The Lord's gonna right. make you afraid. Right. And, and you get right. ready to that well, um, um uh, aborigines, how do you say the word aborigines and all yeah. that? That's it. You know, all that's gonna be taking place, man. Just right. like uh, the ancient plagues in um the plagues in ancient Egypt, you know. Darkness, all these things, the Lord is getting ready to put fear in these people, you know. But That's right, bro. The scriptures say, At famine and destruction, thou shalt laugh. So you're gonna have the elect <laughs> laughing at these things, you know. Right. People gonna be in the corner somewhere shaking their ass off, bro. You know what I'm saying? Sitting, sitting on, on, on their ass with their knees, you know what I'm saying? You know, people sitting like this, oh, right. Right here, scared to death, man. Mm -hmm. Having anxiety attacks, all that, man. To come get on second Ezra the 15th chapter. Okay. I got the ninth chapter for you, Ra. This is second Ezra chapter 9, verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. Yeah, but that word time again. We're supposed to be measuring the times diligently. You know, um, you know, because I know the come went into this word. Um, the word diligently has uh, means serious intent, you know, it means thorough, you gotta be right. You gotta be um you gotta be about about the Lord's business, you know. That's right. Time, you know, checking out the things that's going on and linking it up you know, to the to the Bible to know exactly the point of time we live in. It. Remember that song by Cindy Lauper, "Time After Time." Mm -hmm. We're supposed to be measuring the time diligently, man. You know, it says um, and when thou seest part of the signs pass. Which I have told thee before, then thou, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. 
That's right. And that's part of the signs. You don't you, you don't need to wait for everything to happen. You need to be, oh, this took place. Okay. Let me marry that. Okay. Okay. Close. Okay, this is happening. You know, and, and you know, like the Max Scenes, for example. We know that's a prelude to the Mark of the Beast, which is the art body chip. Right. I'm not waiting for the art body chip to be made mandatory for us to be like, oh, no, we're measuring time through this magazine because we know it's it's a it's a cutting of the flesh. Is it um it is it's similar to what's gonna be made mandatory with the RFID chip. Right. You know? It's a prelude to that. So when you see parties signs come to pass, then you then you're gonna know your Howard Shy is closely arriving. You know, you don't wait till yeah. things pop up and then you want to repent and start seeking the Lord. No, you start yeah. signs now. Going right back to Isaiah 55 and 6, it says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Mm -hmm. We mean, while the men of the Lord are still out there on the highways and byways, why this word is still accessible, you know? Because because it's going to be a famine of the word soon, come. You can already see that. Everything is leading up to that famine of the word, too, you know? Mm -hmm. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. We're pushing the name heavy. We're pushing the name heavy, man. You know? And it's so-called, it's one minute to 2021. You know what I'm saying? New Year's Eve of destruction, man. You know? Mm -hmm. So we measure the time diligently in itself. It says, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world. Earthquakes at an all-time high. They, they had, um they showed an earthquake recently that took place um, while there was a uh, news reporting going on and the people were so in, in fear, man, they were trembling. They were afraid, man. These are earthquakes taking place consistently, man, across the four corners of the earth, upwards of the people. I mean, come on. Do we, it, 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 if you ain't been watching the news, I mean, you're hiding under a rock. I mean, Black Lives Matter, Antifa, you know, on um, the yellow vest, all these different. Hey, look, bro, let me say this right quick, bro. Today alone, 182 earthquakes. 9,485 earthquakes in the month of December. Damn. 9,485 earthquakes in the month of December alone. And that's abnormal right there. If you, if you don't see this. 9,000, bro. 9,000. No, Damn, there are 10,000 earthquakes this month alone, man. You know? 770 this week alone. Damn. Look, bro, in diverse places. In diverse in places. In diverse places, right? Yep. And look, look, can't forget the uproars of the people. Mm-hmm. It, yep. it says uproars of the people, right? Yep. Have we not been seeing uproars of the people or what? I know, right? And look, bro, and then the thing about it, it's a new year, right? It just a new year, just a so-called new year, just st just started like thirty minutes ago, right? Well, um, thirty seconds ago or something like that, right? Guess what? It's eight earthquakes already. Dang! Look, look, two thousand twenty-one just started maybe thirty seconds ago, well, a minute ago, and it's eight earthquakes already, man. Mm -hmm. It just popped up on the thing, bro. Mm. I, I want to get that definition of for uproars. God. I must be allowed to get that right quick. Huh. What you holding to come? I got that second edge for you. This is uproar because it says uproars of the people, right? This is it's a noun, a loud or a passionate noise or disturbance, a disorder, confusion, chaos, disturbance, um, havoc, mayhem, noise. Babel, which means confusion from the Hebrew word um, Babal, aka Babylon. Look, shouting, yelling, a public expression of protest or outrage. Are we not seeing that throughout the four corners of the earth? Mm -hmm. are, are we not seeing it? But yeah, Israel told me something. They get ready to go um, build a community tie, bro. Israel said, look, we're going we're gonna to gather up some money, a couple hundred thousands. We're going to go, you know what I'm saying, um, racks on racks, right, bro? I got the keys, keys, keys. <laughs> all I hear is fireworks, gunshots. And that's all. You're going to hear more of that, bro. Yep. You know what I'm saying? It ain't going to be for 4th of July. It ain't going to be for so-called New Year's. It's going to be because people capping at each other, man. Mm-hmm. 
You hear the fireworks? Y'all heard that? Yep. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Oh, the Lord got something for you. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shall thou well understand that the most high spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. Mm -hmm. For like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. Mean manifest means to make known. So if you're measuring the times, you're gonna you're gonna well understand we're living in the final moments of this man's rulership, and it's coming to an end. That's right, brother. It ain't gonna be no confusion on it. You're gonna know very well. And the scripture said, all these things must come to pass. Going right back to Isaiah 34 and 16, all these things must come to pass, man. And the Lord said, look, I'm just going to turn up the heat. Look, the heat is going to get turned up for 2021. The Lord's going to turn up the heat, man. You thought 2020 mm -hmm. was a year of prophecy. Where do you see what 2021 is going to be about? Whew. The Lord said, all hands shall be faint, and every man's heart shall melt, man. These people are going to be having anxiety attacks and all that, bro. Because, you know, the scriptures say miserable are they that don't have the word, bro. Mm -hmm. Remember, knowledge, with, didn't the brother read there, Isaiah 33 and 6? The wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures shall be the stability of that times. Everybody out, 5, 4, 3, 2, and all that other nonsense, but they ain't got no knowledge. Mm. Going into a so-called new year with no understanding. Can't discern the times or nothing, bro. Spent all shit. Um, my woman, you know what I'm saying, I talked to her earlier. She said she rolled past Food Lion, man, and it was jam-packed, man. Jacob in there buying them meats, them hamburgers. Uh, <laughs> that grocery store up, bro. Buying all the wine off the shelf. Right. All the, using all the stimulus check for, for that nonsense, bro. Yep. Go ahead, though, bro. Go ahead, Nakam. Come. This is Second Edris, chapter 15, verse 1. Behold. Speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. Hey, behold, so you are Come, behold means to look, to see. You know, you know speak thou uh, the words of prophecy in the ears of, uh, in the ears of my people. Those are words of prophecy, prophecy, like the, the Bible, the King James Version 1611. And we're supposed to speak to you, so called Negroes, that most Native Americans give you warning. Let you know what's about to occur because prophesy needs to tell you before. That's right, brother. It reads on, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. Yahweh I was shot. Yep, the Lord is going to give the Holy Spirit to the prophets to go out there and, and preach his word. You know? Read on. And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Fear yep. not cause the imagination. Yep. Cause them to be written in paper because they are faithful and true. That's why the Lord, see, that's why the Lord got the Bible. And, and the Lord had it to where we were able to get access to the Apocrypha. You know? Because the, the words are faithful and true. And that's what the Lord wanted to take place in this movie that we're in. Read on. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them so trouble you. Say this, everybody outside is shooting their guns. They're going to wish they would have saved them damn bullets. Man. I know, right? You're going to need them bullets soon coming. man. They ain't popping caps around y'all way? Yeah, they are. That's what's throwing me off, too. It's throwing me off. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee. That speak against thee, kind. Yeah, don't let let don't let um those of our people, you know, because incredulity means um unbelief. Right. Okay. Don't let that trouble. You know, don't let that um steer you from the from the the path that we're going down. We're we're trying to travel down, man. Which is the path of salvation. Mm -hmm. Don't let nobody interrupt your mission. That's right, brother. 
Stay on the course. Stay on course. Mm -hmm. this, look, this is the way. Walk in. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? This is the way, Israel. Remember, this is the way. This is the only way, Israel. Right. This is it, man. This is our only hope, man. You know? Go ahead. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. He's all going to work it. The, work, the Lord's going to work it out. All the ones who are unfaithful, who imagine, you know, bad things against you, you know, imagine to bring harm upon you. Imagine that you would die, whatever, because you preaching the names of Yahweh, Shai. Well, they're going to die in their unfaithfulness. Mm -hmm. So it's all going to work itself out. Behold, said the Lord. Yahweh, I will bring plagues upon the world. Hey, the Lord is bringing plagues now upon the world. Okay, and that world, that word world goes back to oinka meaning, meaning, you know, the whole earth, man. You know, upon all the inhabitants of the earth. Okay, these plagues are happening across the four corners of the earth. We don't. The sword? The sword, any killing instrument, the modern day gun. And going back to Psalm, the 17th chapter, verse 13, Esau is the Lord's sword. He's going to bring his martial law, which... Right now, there's a certain level of his martial law that's in place, but that's going to turn up to where you can't go from one city to another, you know? So the sword is, is here, and that's going to increase. Read on. The famine? Famine, lack of bread, thirst for water. That's happening now. Farmers euthanizing their, their, their uh, you know, animals, you know, chickens being burnt and, and um, you know, I guess just destroyed. All right, mm -hmm. um, is, is, is uh, ordering food, okay? But that's going to increase even more. You got Jake waiting in line. I mean, thousands upon thousands waiting in line for a meal, you know, right. for canned goods. So this is happening now, but it's going to increase. Read on. Death and destruction. Death and destruction. And that's the purpose of the Lord bringing these plagues. The Lord is, is getting ready to torture these people come soon. That's you right. Know? For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth. Wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth, man. Okay, this devil has, has constantly been killing Jake unrightfully, you know, murdering Jake, Jake getting uh, shot uh, in, in cold blood, laid out in the streets, broad daylight, you know, and, and, and you know, this devil hasn't paid for that. You know, women ruling over the men, you got, um, these these uh kids growing up, you know, not respecting the ancient sodomites, bestiality, you know, all these things taking place. Man, this place got to go. The Lord's like, the Lord's saying, is it, read that last part. It says, for wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth. It's polluted the whole earth, man. Right. It, it's exceedingly polluted the whole earth, man. And everybody has fallen the the the. Majority of people has have been following the philosophies of this devil, man. We don't. And it, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. And their hurtful works are fulfilled. Okay, so now it's time for all this to come to naught. It's come. It's going to be shut down. So that's the time we're living in, and that's why these plagues need to come. They have to come, man, because right. wickedness uh, wickedness is about to be shut down, man. In order That's for right. to down, these plagues have to come, have to come in, have to be, um, have to take place. But like we read earlier, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear fruit, the people mourn, man. Mm -hmm. So everybody is mourning right about now. Everything pretty much, we always go through it, through the spirit. Everything is pretty much locked the hell up, man. Every mm -hmm. animal known to mankind is pretty much has a, a leash on it. You know what I'm saying, bro? Mm -hmm. or, or some type of tracking device, right? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's crazy. And this is why right here, Revelation 6, and we're going to go right back to that. Revelation chapter 6, verse 4. And there went out another horse that was red, representing Esau, sleazy E, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth. Mm. Power was given to this devil to take peace from the earth, man. Is that not happening? Is is peace not being taken from the earth 
Yes, it is, man. Mm-hmm. On a large scale, man. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing safe, man. Ain't nothing safe. It says wherever this devil go, death follows him, man. Mm-hmm. And, that, and that's what's coming. Oh, yeah. And to come whole um revelation um 12 and 12, too. Because remember, this devil is ruling. You forgot you you were singing and jumping around fireworks popping off your gun for 2021 look this devil's still ruling though you forgot that huh you forgot that we're going into a so-called new year with the devil still ruling man and he was given power to take peace from the earth and they should kill one another and there was giving him a great sword and who was given a great sword pursuant to genesis the 27th chapter sleazy e man and that sword represents destruction. The sword represents the modern day gun, man. This that's his blessing, man. And he's gonna use it, man. He's gonna bring in 2021 with a bang on you, Jake's man. It's gonna be more cop shootings, you know. It's gonna be more um going into the wrong house, uh, home invasions from the cops. They're gonna shoot your ass down while you're in the bed, or you're either gonna be watching TV, eating ice cream. Look, it's gonna be a more influx of of that going on, man. Mm-hmm. Either we're gonna see more wickedness, you know. They're gonna put more more wickedness on their on their videos, more wickedness in their songs. It says wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth. You might go out of your um your door, you know what I'm saying, and see uh, some people having sex on your front lawn. You know what I'm saying, bro? Who knows? You might go outside and see somebody in your garage. You know what I'm saying having sex with an animal. Who knows, man? Mm-hmm. Why? Because wickedness has exceedingly pulled the whole earth, and the wicked is ruling. And when the wicked is ruling, it's all about lewdness. Yep. It ain't it ain't about no standard. The wicked, the wicked, when the wicked rules, they have no standards, man. All right. They have no shame, man. I want to read that again. Revelation six and four. And there went out another horse that was red, and power. Job nine twenty four. Right. And mm-hmm. power was given to him. That said their own to take peace from the earth. And I people expecting for this devil to change, bro. Oh, yeah. Well, a new president is coming in. It's gonna be more peaceful for us, right? Huh? Huh? Think peace is coming. Peace ain't coming. And look, power was given to him to take peace from the earth. To take peace from the earth. And that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword, man. That's this devil, right? One more precept. Jeremiah 13, 23. Can an Ethiopian, can an Ethiopian change his skin or a leopard his spots? Then may ye also do good that are accustomed to do evil. So you praying that this devil change his ways. <laughs> you can't change something. You can't make something straight that the God of the Bible already made crooked, man. Mm. He created this devil to be the wicked, man. And long as the wicked is ruling, you're going to mourn. Whether it's 2021 or 2050, you're going to still be mourning Israel. That's why that's why we pray for a few days, man. That's right. We pray that the Lord hurry up and come, man. Because as long as this devil's ruling, he's gonna he gonna steal, he gonna kill, and he's gonna most definitely do what, brother? Destroy. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Exactly. That's this devil's MO. That's his DNA, man. That's that's what his DNA. That's his, his um his, his structure, man. Mm-hmm. Another word escapes me right about now, man. But that's how he was created, pretty Make much. Mm-hmm. Right, that's, that's it, brother. That's it. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's, how, that's why it's a beautiful thing to be part of that body, man. God. That's his makeup, man. You know? That's it, bro. You're trying to change this devil, you know what I'm saying? He was created to bring evil to the earth. He was created to destroy everything. He put his hands on. But oh, yeah, happy new year. You is what's going to catch per hell this year, man. Mm-hmm. For hell, man. Go ahead, bro. This is Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. Mm-hmm. Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell therein. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you 
having great wrath. Yep, I got that. Hey, the devil, man, the deceiver, the false accuser. Who's that? Esau Edom. Right. You know, starting with the Elizabeth. Lazy E. You know, he's coming down unto you. Who's you? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. Yeah, he's coming down on his own people too, but he's targeting you Israelites. He made it clear. You need to take the vaccine. You know, right. you're the strongest people here on the face of the earth through all the adversity we've been through. But yeah, he wants you to take the vaccine. Tell us, on, you know? bro, tell us, on, your, tell us on your um, immune system is the weakest one on the face of the earth. Which, which is a damn lie, man. You know? Yeah. The, even the, even the, um, the Hamites said they are more and mightier than us. Yeah. Remember that? Yep. They said that they are more and mightier than us. Mm -hmm. we the, the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, favorite nation. They, they was happy when they created Israel. Mm -hmm. You know? And remember, the scripture say one shall be stronger than the other. Mm -hmm. You know? Genesis, the 25th chapter, it tells you that Jacob was stronger than Esau, man. Yeah. He told us we got the weakest immune system known in mankind. We look, we done been through hell, man. We went through hell and back, man. Call those slave ships. He told us we got a, a weak immune system. Are you right. crazy? Been, 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 been drinking fluoride in the water for years. Mm-hmm. Breathing in Kim Trails, eating that bad old ass food from the grocery store that you put dye on and that you put water on. Come on, man. And we're still alive, man. They want it. Look, look, what they say? We don't die, we multiply. You're right. <laughs> Baby's kids, man. Yep. <laughs> we don't die, we multiply, man. Yasha Allah. Princes of the power, yeah. man. We're princes of the power, man. That's right. So we got a, a weak, a weak immune system. Hey, are you crazy? <laughs> the, the strongest people created on the face of the earth, man. God's on earth, man. Mm -hmm. God's what they call they call, they call, call um LeBron James a God. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Michael Jordan a God. Yep. Muhammad Ali, they call him a God. But oh yeah, but oh yeah, we weak, right, bro? The same people that built America, they weak though, right? Go ahead though, brother. And see that that um great wrath is the beginning of, of Esau's coming in with his great wrath. Matter, matter of fact, get that in the come. Get Genesis the 25th chapter, man. Get Genesis the 25th chapter. Mm-hmm. I, I uh, Genesis 21. 25. Bear, bear with me. We're gonna go, we're just gonna go straight to the point. Bear with me. Speak right quick, Rob. Yeah, our number one enemy, Esau, who's ruling, he's getting ready to come in with great wrath. You know, so we, we're we're warning our people like the Lord told us to do. You know, we're warning you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. You know, hey, get right. And for the hopeful elect, keep pushing, man. You know, keep fighting. Because we almost out of here, man. Genesis 25, start at 23. We're just going to go straight to the point. John. This is Genesis chapter 25, verse 23. Right. And the Lord, Yahabashima was shy, said unto her, Right. Two nations are in thy womb. Meaning the two boys, aka the two babies that was in her womb, was going to become two great nations. Of course, I want a million babies in her stomach. You know what I'm saying? Get some understanding. We're giving you understanding of what the scriptures are saying. When it says two nations and thy womb, meaning those two boys are going to come out and be great nations. Go ahead. It says, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. Right. Meaning two different spirits, you know what I'm saying, was in that womb. One was created to be good and one was created to be evil. Evil. Mm -hmm. and then, ain't that how y'all like me to say it? <laughs> right. <laughs> Go ahead. And the one people, hey, look, so like, so like your bro, that's why you can't change this man. Mm -hmm. Two men of people should be the same two characters, man. Yep. Jacob and Esau, man. You know, so called black man, so called white man. Ain't nothing changed. You know, two different type of spirits, man. 
one spirit worship Yahweh by Shem Shai, and one spirit worship the spirit of demon Satan. Mm -hmm. You know, go ahead and it ain't changed. Go ahead. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people. And look, and they they go right there. We're, we're that stronger people, man. Was created to be stronger than these other people, man. That's why they die off, man, from all these different diseases, man. You know, mm -hmm. but barely even, barely even got sperm. They barely um, produce a sperm, bro. Right. You know, we got babies everywhere, bro. Mm -hmm. Bro, yeah, bro. We weak though, right? Bro, look at our people at the age of ninety. They look like they probably like sixty years old, right? Yep. Look at Sleazy Eden, man. Soon they turn 25, they look damn near dead, man. Hell yeah. But oh, yeah. Uh, we, we, in the news. That's right, <laughs> brother. In the news. Ooh. Yeah. Look, we're stronger than you, E. Mm -hmm. We're stronger than you, Sleazy E. Tell us that they have, they have a, um, a bad immune system. Are you crazy? One people shall be stronger than the other people, man. No. Yep. And we'll let you know Jacob was stronger than Sleesaw, man. Esau, man. That's it on that, bro. John. That's it on that. So, so what was we reading? Uh, Revelation 12 and 12. Mm -hmm. He ain't gonna finish that off. You finish it off? Did you ever finish that to come? Just a little bit more. Read it from the top. Con. This is Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. Therefore, reject, rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Mm -hmm. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth Woe means and of the sea. Slow yep. down, bro. Woe means destruction. So all the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, hey, man, is getting ready to be threatened by this devil, okay, who, who the Lord gave power to rule, and he put peace from the earth. Read on. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that his time is short. So he knows his time is short. He's seeing um, a large a portion of the nation of Israel waking up. And that's a sign. Hey, look, he, he knows. They at least know. They know they they the Edomites and they know who the Israelites are. So they spent right. dollars to try to keep that from us. Now that we've been waking up, that's a major sign. They seeing chariot sightings, you know. So all these things, man, is Esau's like, man, they he, they gonna go out with a bang. So they get ready to right. come in wrath. So while Jake is out here popping bottles or whatever they're doing, partying, you know, mirthing it up. This devil is, is is looking for a plan to continue to push forth his new world order and come against you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. That's right. It's war. He he's waging war against the Israelites. Shit, won't that you to just send the article out? You no, know saying this man while everybody else is popping bottles, man, passing out more laws. That was Kabad. Kabad. That was Kabad. He just he just created more laws in in the dark, man. You know what I'm saying? Just created more laws, unrighteous decrees in the dark, man, while you was popping bottles, man. You know? I got a precept. Uh, Proverbs chapter 28, verse 15. As a roaring lion and a raging bear, so is a wicked ruler Ooh. over the people. I read that scripture the other day. That's the spirit. You know, a roaring lion or a raging bear, what are they looking to do? Their wild beast is looking to devour you, to destroy you, man. You know, especially when you come into their 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 um, habitat, right? You know? Hey, the Lord gave Esau the, the rulership to rule over the earth, so you want his turf. You know what I mean? That's right. For this period of time, so that's he's right, brother. To devour you, Israelites, man. Right. That's right, brother. I gotta read that again to come get um get John ten and ten, come. and get um and get Ecclesiastes. 7 and 13. Get get those two scriptures, bro. Time. This is on um, Proverbs chapter 28, verse 15. As a roaring lion and a raging bear, so is a wicked ruler mm -hmm. over the people. The wicked ruler, man. This man is a wicked ruler. His, um, his tender mercies are cruel. 
Right. So now that the cat is out the bag that he's Esau Edom, the average Edomite knows that he's a, he's an Edomite. We 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 seen a video. A videos been circulating to that. Yep. Now the cat is out the bag. This devil's like, man, we might as well go all in, man. At some point in time, he's gonna say, "Excuse my language, fuck it. Let's just push it. Let's just do it, man." That's right. He knows his time is short, and he knows that he's been re revealed as the wicked. So he might as well go all the way. I got a precept too, since you just said that. This is Proverbs chapter twelve, verse five. The thoughts of the righteous are right. But the counsel of the wicked are deceit. Are deceit, man, lies. And his his whole kingdom was built off deceit and lies. Right. Now the Lord is bringing, tearing down, you know, that, that stronghold. He's like, man, forget, to hell with it, man. Because as long as he was able to rule in a lie, he was good. But until, until that lie, until that was uncovered, now that's a threat to him, man. So he he's, he knows his time is up, man. Oh yeah, listen to this deceit, the act of causing someone to accept as true or valid what is false or invalid. Look, talk calling themselves white. That alone, calling themselves white, and people believe that to be valid. Right. We learned in elementary school that they look nothing like white. Right, but, but people believe that they labeled them, they labeled us black, and people believe that they call themselves um Jewish. People believe that they stole our identity. You know, they made they make people think that they was ruling in righteousness with the whole democracy. When I was all wickedness the whole time, right, man. whole time, the whole time, man. It says the act or practice of deceiving. Mm. He's a deceiver, man, a.k.a. the devil, man. Remember said the devil coming down having great wrath? The word devil means deceiver, man. It says deception, achieving one's goals through a web of deceit. Mm. In a tip. Hey. Like Go ahead, bro. I was going to say, the scripture say um, the triumph of the wicked is, uh, is but for a moment. So this man, that the word triumphing goes back. Oh, yeah, the true of the hypocrite but for a moment, right? The the hypocrite, hypocrite but for a moment, the water, bro. That word triumphing goes back to success. So he was successful for a long time based off, you know, pushing out lies and having people. Believe. Being deceptive. Being deceptive. Tell us, on, tell us on Christopher Columbus discovered America. You see what I'm saying, bro? All deceptive, all lies. Look, it says through his web, man. You know mm. what I'm saying? Get you trapped up, man. The black, call him the black widow, bro. Yep. He get you trapped up in his web, man, aka his system, man. Mm -hmm. Which word system means pit. Yep. And the word America means bitter. You know? This place has been bitter as hell for us, right? Mm -hmm. It says an attempt or device to deceive. <laughs> Trick. <laughs> It says trick, excuse turned out to be a deceit. Mm -hmm. hey, you get the logistics of that. Yep. It's a, it's a, it's a true devil, bro. Yep. Hey, look, look, he, he was created that way, though, man. That's right. An attempt or deceive or deceive. It's like an attempt or device to deceive, man. Oh, look, 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 listen to this, bro. The quality of being dishonest or misleading. Damn. See what I'm saying, man? Mm. The quality of being deceitful. That's this devil for you, bro. You know? Oh, listen to this, bro. Listen to this right here. I'm going to jump back, but I want to read this right quick. Proverbs chapter 12, verse 20. Deceit is in the heart of them that imagine evil. Mm. The Lord Deceit. just had me look at that one, man. It's heavy, mm -hmm. right? Deceit. Yep. Look, Proverbs 12 and 20. Deceit, which, which, which goes right back to devil, a deceiver, is in the heart, meaning the mind, of them that imagine evil, bro. You know what I'm saying? They want something bad to happen to you. We're going right back to Sirach, remember? Yep. Going right back to Sirach. This man, um, he, he pretends to help you and all that. Yep. He, he, he waiting for blood. You'll find him there. As soon as you, uh, some, a misfortune happened, you find him there sitting there with that stupid look on his face. That, what did I do? 
that tight lip, that tight lip, right, right. You know what I'm saying, bro? This devil, man. Yeah. Look, that's what the Lord said. I got something for this devil, man. I'm gonna go right back. Proverbs 12, 5. The thoughts of the righteous are right, but the counsels of the wicked, you know, they be having those secret counsels, bro. Mm -hmm. Where everybody was partying, I think it was it was um either Christmas or going into a new year when it was on Jekyll Island, uh, being real deceptive, bro, having them secret councils on how to further oppress the people. Mm -hmm. This is what they're doing right about them, man. Only thing they the only thing they do is imagine evil, bro. Yep. They imagine evil. It says, listen, listen to this heavy right here, bro. This the phone, the phone fell and everything, man. <laughs> hey, look, look, listen to this, bro. The words of the wicked. Or to lie. Mm. The mm. words of the wicked are to lie and wait for blood. Damn. Damn. What, what, the scripture say he won't be satisfied with blood? Yeah. Sirot the he won't be satisfied with blood, bro. He want to see more than blood. Just like he won't, he won't satisfy when he slaughtered all the natives, bro. Mm -hmm. And look, then this man get ready to come down with great rev. It didn't just say rev. It says great rev, yeah. bro. Knowing that he only got a short time to rule, man. Look, mm. a transition of power, bro, is taking place. This devil ain't going down without a fight. I know, right? That's why the God of the Bible, God is warning our people, man. Get ready, man. Mm -hmm. Get ready. Look, look. We spiritual men, you know. Mm -hmm. This is a spiritual battle because the be carnal minded is enmity with you have but shimmy I was shy, man. All right. It says, um, but the mouth of the righteous shall deliver them. That mm -hmm. that, that was a heavy scripture right there, man. You know, mm. wow, man. I know. <laughs> oh, verse 10 was on um, the tender mercies of the wicked is crude, which you mm -hmm. called for what you quoted earlier. Con, con, yep. Damn man, yeah. This this is the man that's getting ready to come in with great extreme anger, because wrath means extreme anger. Mm -hmm. So he's getting ready to bring in all the big guns, man. You know, right there at the bottom, verse twenty six. It says the righteous is more excellent than his neighbor, but the ways of the wicked seduces him. So our people are up on the trance right about now, man. You know that they, they actually they have been brainwashed. Mm hmm. Now, we have been brainwashed too. Right. See, we have been cleansed with the word, which is the water. You know what I'm saying? But they still brainwash, believing in sleaze saws, sleaze and ease lies, man. You know, this man really got the wool pulled up, the wool pulled over their eyes, bro. So what they don't see nothing, man. And that's your how by Shimmy Shai giving them over to that man so, so they can be destroyed, man. Mm -hmm. Straight up, man. Damn. That, that was a heavy verse, verse 20 was heavy though, one of them man. Yeah, it was, bro. The sea is in the heart of him that imagined evil. That's Proverbs, bro. Proverbs 28. Proverbs um 12. 12. Huh. 12 and 20. Huh. What I read earlier was um Proverbs 28. Huh. That, that was that was heavy right there, man. That was showing off a kicker. Mm -hmm. what, what, did you, what did you have to come? Oh, I got that Ecclesiastes 7, that John, 13. That John 10 and 10 first, though. Con, this, this is St. John, chapter 10, verse 10. Right. The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill mm -hmm. and to destroy. Who, who's the biggest thief, man? He saw Edom. He's coming to steal, you know, he, man, he, want, he wants your birthright, which he ain't never going to get. Right. You know, he wants your soul, like the brother Yashar Allah said. They want our soul. He ain't right. going to You know, he, he on um, coming to steal, kill. Let me just say this, bro, because he already got the mind and the body already. Yep. Now he want that soul. That's why he want to implant you with the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast. You know what I'm saying? This man wants your soul now. He want to be God, man. Mm -hmm. You know? He want to be Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know? Go yeah. ahead. I am come that they might have life. Yeah, Yahweh Shai. It came so we can have life, man. And it's going to start with the whole collection. The hope for let the elect is going to take place. you know. So here it is. You know, you can get with this, or you can get with that. 
Right. You want you want to join? You want to go down to Egypt? For help? You know, you want to um join hand in hand with this devil? You want to be destroyed with this devil because he's looking to destroy you. He ultimately going to destroy you and, and himself. You know. But yeah, is coming to you know, coming to give you life, man. And that's who the hopeful is going to get with. I got that precept too. Isaiah chapter thirty-one verse one. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. Destruction. Woe means destruction to those that go down to Egypt for help. You know, Egypt, Egypt goes back to bondage, bondage, man. And this man trusting is in oppression, bro. Trusting in op oppression, man. You know, that's that's our people, man. Our people is uh, the Lord. Scriptures say the Lord's going to um, send them strong delusions. He's seeing all these people, examples of all these people dropping, man. Then they should, be, then they should believe in a lie, bro. They don't believe in a lie. You know, this devil's coming in with a lie for his agenda, and you're believing it, man. Right. You're, seeing, you're hearing about all these stories of people dying or getting Bell's palsy, but yet you still right. won't take this match, man. So woe to you. When has the devil ever helped anybody, man? Right. Tell me, when has the devil ever helped anybody, man? But his damn self, man. Only thing he's trying to do is further his agenda, man. Which the Lord said he's going to shut it down, man. Now, this devil going to make moves. You know what I'm saying? He's going to do what he got to do, but the Lord going to intervene. Isaiah 31 and 1. Woe, 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 woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. And to stay on horses. And trust in chariots. Because they are many and in horsemen, because they are very strong. Mm -hmm. But they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, so, neither seek ye the Lord. So they trust this man because of his military might, but they don't look to the one that created this devil, man. The one, the, the, the creator of all things. They don't look to Yahweh. Right. They don't that's look right. to the, the one that's going to give you self, that could give you salvation if you seek him. But yeah, right. you see this devil, man, because you see his military might. You fear, you fear in the wrong entity. They want to be like him. The scriptures say, choose none of his ways. Envy not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. I people see him with the big giant houses that be at the finer restaurants. And look, I, I, like I was explaining this to somebody the other day. Look, this man's supposed to have better things than we do right about now. He's supposed to have a bigger house, a better, a bigger bank account. Um, the, the the best parts of the earth right about now. He's ruling right about now. Mm -hmm. You know, like 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 when we get the rulership. Oh yeah, like he's gonna have what we have. Hell no. Right. This man supposed to have a better life. He's supposed to have it better when he goes to the hospital. Right. Right. He's supposed to have it better when he goes to the dentist or wherever he goes, man. Cause they're ruling right about now, man. You can't, and you feel some type of way when you see it, but then you get the understanding of the scriptures. You say, oh, yeah, it's just time to rule. He's supposed to have the better, he's supposed to go to the better supermarkets, right? You know, he's supposed to, he's supposed to have better insurance policies and all that, right? Huh? His kids supposed to go to the best colleges, he's supposed to get, get the best education. Because when we rule, what do you think we're going to be doing? That's right. We're not going to be, we're not going to be ruling in these other nations are equal to us, man. All right. So, so just just think about it. He's ruling right about now. So, ain't no nation equal to him. He's supposed to have the islands and all that, right? Mm -hmm. You know, he's supposed to be at the the cleaner beaches with the best looking water and all that, right? And then we in slavery right about now. We in hell right about now, man. He's supposed to get the the fattest checks, right? Mm -hmm. He's supposed to get paid. He's ruling right about now. He's supposed to be getting paid more than us, right? He's ruling right about now. He's supposed to have the uh, the better businesses and all that. A man of understanding can understand that and can accept that, man. You know? Mm -hmm. And do it feel kind of awkward and do it feel funny? And, and is it right? No. But he's ruling right about now. Mm -hmm. Even though he's ruling in wickedness, you got to understand. He's going to have better things on his side than us because he's ruling. But when we rule, we're going to have the better things, man. Right. And the thing about it, we're going to have it for eternity, right? Mm. For eternity, man. And it, and it starts off with, first and foremost, fearing your how about Shimei Awashai, man. All right? Oh. The scriptures say, seek ye first the kingdom of heaven 
and all these things sir, shall be added. See how people want all the final things in life and they think they can seek the kingdom of heaven last. No, it don't work like that, man. It don't work like that. So they go down to Egypt for help, trying to be just like this devil, knowing that you're not going to be equal in his society, man. All right? right. You're going to always be three-fifths of a man in his society, okay? Even though he's less than a dog, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. he, he's, he's, he's more worthless than dog doo-doo, you know? But this is his kingdom right about now. So, yeah, he's on top. We just got to start accepting it, man. Accept what it is, right? Mm-hmm. Lamentation chapter 4, verse 17. As for us, our eyes as yet fell for our vain help. Mm -hmm. In our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. Yep, that could not save us. A nation that the only way we're going to get saving is through Yahweh Shai. Right. No nation is going to be able to save you. No man can buy you. Right. And, and it's, it's many examples showing that every time that, you know, they put a new uh, president in, in place, Obama. Uh, first it was Bill Clinton. Then it was Obama. You know, our people can constantly looking for vain hope from these nations. Right. They can't save us. And there's no way they can because they weren't designed that to, to do that, man. Right. Designed to oppress us, man. It's like, it's like, yeah, you voted for this devil. You went out, stood in line for hours to vote somebody into power, another oppressor. You still going to, look, you're, you still going to have a light bill. You still going to have a water bill, internet bill. Still got to pay for food. Didn't nothing change. That's know, basically right? the point that I'm trying to make. Didn't nothing change. You stood out in line all damn night, had put corns on your damn feet. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Saying that long ass line got wet as hell, damn near caught fucking pneumonia, being cold <laughs> and all that, voting for this devil, and then nothing changed. Nothing. Things got things got worse, man. Mm -hmm. Plus, plus um um spoiler alert, your vote didn't count, all right. Right. Spoiler alert. Your vote didn't count, Israel. All right. It says um, they hunt our steps that we cannot go in our streets. You're constantly being watched. You're constantly being being harassed. Look, did none of that change? Right. You, look, you still a suspect. You, you went out there and voted. You woke up. And you were still a suspect. You know, they said you fit the description of somebody. This dude, you no know saying was like 80 years old. He was, a, he was short as a midget, you know what I'm saying? You know? And they said, you fit the description of him, and you probably like 6'11". You know what I'm saying? You're 6'11". He's 68, right? Like 70 years old. You're 6'11". You know what I'm saying? you like 17. But, oh, yeah, you fit the description of that dude. He a damn midget, bro. And they got a picture of him, bro. What they say? We all look alike, though, right, bro? All right. Ain't nothing going to change as long as we're here in America, man, or throughout the four corners of the earth. It's rough everywhere right about now, man. Yeah. They hunt our steps that we cannot go in our streets. Our end is near. Our days are fulfilled. Our end is come. Our persecutors are swifter than the eagles of the heaven. They, pers they pursued us upon the mountains. They laid wait for us. In the wilderness that happened thousands of years ago and it's happening now man you know this whole system was set up to further oppress us man when will you learn they ain't gonna learn right right i want to read this too and then we can read whatever we'll, we'll close it up shortly this is um lamentation chapter five um verse one remember oh lord yahweh bashim yahweh shai what has come upon us Consider and behold our reproach. Our heritage is turned to strangers. Our houses to aliens. You know, foreigners are in our land right about now, man. Mm -hmm. The land of Israel. Strangers. Our heritage. You got you got these strangers calling themselves the Israelites, man. Mm -hmm. Calling themselves us, man. Yasha Allah, man. Calling themselves the Jews, bro. Our houses, they in the land of Israel right now, bro. In kosher pig. You know what I'm saying? Rainbow flags every damn way, right, bro? Mm -hmm. Jumping up and down, right? Going to the well and wall, hitting their head on the wall, right, bro? Right. Which won't not that won't our custom. We didn't right. do that, man. You know what I'm saying? With the with the yarmulkes on their head, right, bro? 
When the scriptures say pray not with your head, everybody here got their top of their head open. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Pray, the, the, don't pray with your head cover, right? Mm -hmm. But but they got on everybody, oh, everybody got hats on, right, bro? Right? Right. All them got hats on, right? They ain't the people of the Lord. I know, right? But look though, but they're very deceptive though, right? That's the that's the deceit that they come with, right? It says, um, we are orphans and fatherless. Our mother, our mothers are as widows. It says, we have drunken our water for money. Our wood is sold unto us. Did that change? When our people went and voted, did that change, bro? Did any of that change? Mm -mm. You still got a water bill, right? Yep. You got to buy that wood. If you got a stove or you got a furnace or fireplace, you got to go buy that wood. Look, you can't go out in the woods and chop some wood up. So somebody going to come through and say, look, it's private property, right? Mm-hmm. And look, and if you don't get away, I'm gonna do you in, right? Oh. If you don't get out of here, I'm gonna do you in. You know what I'm saying, bro? Right. So mm -hmm. we gotta pay for everything. Our necks are under persecution. Mm -hmm. Look, bro, we labor, meaning we work our asses all right and have no rest. Did any of that change? Nope. We ain't getting no rest because this is not our rest. And it says our necks are under persecution. We're constantly being persecuted, man. Remember, oppression make up a wise man mad, right? And a gift destroys the heart, meaning the mind. And the majority of these false leaders have took the bribe, bro. They took the Judas purse, bro. Yep. So, so they're further, further oppressing us too, man. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Uh. What you got in the con? Um, you want that Ecclesiastes still, 713? Yeah. Yes. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 13. Swagger, brother, let me just say this. The Lord is basically letting you Israelites know that it ain't going to get no better here for you, right? You, you never have rest here. No, no matter how much money you get on your job, no matter how famous you get, you're still going to be a so-called Negro to these heathens, man. You, you're just going to be a byword to them, man, a proverb. You're going to be a nobody to them, man. No matter how, look, Michael Jackson showed you that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Bill Cosby showed you that, right? Mm -hmm. All the greats showed you that, man. That at the end of the day, Fred Sanford showed you that, man. That you're mm -hmm. nothing in the eyes of your enemy, man. Go ahead. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 13. We're going to read probably like three more scriptures, then we're going to wrap it up. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 13. So, hold on. Go ahead. Yeah. Consider the work of Yahweh Bashima Washai. For who can make that straight which he have made crooked? You got it, bro? Yeah, I mean, talking about those Edomites, man. You know, they, they were created to be the wicked. Right. You no, know, they were created to kill, steal, destroy. That's exactly what they're doing. And there's no way you can change that. Right. You know, you try to join the military and right. put your best effort and put all your energy towards proving to this man that you were a faithful servant to this man. We tried, we tried getting along with this devil, man, for all mm. these years, man. Hundreds of years, man. We tried to get along with this devil, man. It ain't working, man. Mm -hmm. It ain't working. So you pray to your how about you trying to take him out of here. Yep. You know, it ain't working. You can't be friends with this devil, man. He doesn't mm -hmm. want to be your friend. He wants to destroy you, man, by any means necessary. And he'll come up with any lie, you know what I'm saying, to get to have his way with you, man. Yep. Mm -hmm. paying, paying you to take Maxine. You know what I'm saying? Hell, the money ain't real. Right. So, so, bro, he didn't lose nothing. You know what I'm saying? When he gave you that money, he didn't lose nothing because the money won't real anyway. Right. It's all it's all de being deceptive, man. It's all about being deceptive with this devil, man. You know? That's it on that, bro. Okay. We'll read we'll read um hold hold um he's hold um 
Isaiah 35, bro. Now come hold Isaiah 35 and start it on. Don't read it yet. Start it on, I think, verse 4. 3. 4 and 5. Is it verse hold, hold it on deck. I want to read this first, though. Because with everything that's going on, yeah, this devil gonna come down with great wrath, but the Lord is coming too. Mm. This is um Sirach. This for you, Ara. Sirach chapter uh, twelve, and we're gonna read through a little of it. Sirach chapter twelve, verse ten. Never trust thine enemy. Never trust the enemy. Never ever. By any circumstances, never trust this devil. You know, and we 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 see it through our history. This devil. He's he's looking to destroy you, man. Okay, and much more in these times. So we got to keep remember that, man. Never trust these devils. So these uh these Edomites, man. You know, and these other nations who make who in league with this devil. They're all right. Like, hey, Psalm the eighty third chapter. You know. Oh yeah, I, you know I got to bring out the definition for never. Never. It's an adverb. Not look at no time in the past or future. Yep, no time in the past or future. You know, never trust or the past. present. Or, or the, the present. present. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. This devil got on a four-piece suit. You know what I'm yeah. saying? The hell with a three-piece suit. Okay, if he ain't got a, a four-piece suit on. Never the, the Lord said, never trust this devil, man. Mm -hmm. He says. Um, on no occasion. On no occasion whatsoever, man. You know, he might eat Christmas. I don't care if it's Thanksgiving. I don't care if it's Valentine's Day. I don't care if it's your birthday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. On no occasion. All trust right. this devil. I don't care if he give you a raise on your job. He give you a nice check, a stimulus check, what have you. Never. It's the devil now. Mm -hmm. No occasion. Not ever. Never, not at all. Mm -hmm. Not for a moment. Not under any circumstance. That's it. You know what I'm saying, bro? Yep, I knew that was in there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No way. Not on your life. Mm. Look, bro, not in a million years. Not in a million years. <laughs> not in a million years, man. Right. Look, not for the love of money. Not to say, mm. not for the love or money. Mm. But but Jake fell for it though, bro. Yep. Israel fell for it, bro. Actually bent over for some money, bro. Bro. Well, just gonna say the gift destroys the heart. A gift destroys the heart. And Esau knows that. And then they can't, because yeah, Slee know what I'm saying they that we're in the ghetto. We we're down on our luck, you know what I'm saying? And Jake's just, just craving to, to get out of the ghetto, man. Yep. They're tired of hearing gunshots, you know what I'm saying, bro? They're, they're tired of seeing people on um, broken glass windows from people breaking in each other's houses and all that, man. Drugs, gangs. Some people see a way out, they're like, man, I gotta take it, man. Right. Just not knowing, just not knowing you gotta do something wicked to receive that bag, man. Mm-hmm. The scripture say, look, not um uh, what would it say? Not in a million years, not for love or money. Never trust this devil, man. Mm -hmm. Never. Not under any circumstance. That was a heavy one, right? Yeah. Not under any circumstances. Any any right. position you put in, don't trust this devil. Right. You you know anything, man. You buy if you're facing death, this devil tell you, look. Here's a way out. Just take the mark of the beast, start fighting each other. Right. You take death. You know, you be a martyr. Right. You know, under no circumstances do you ever That's right, you. brother. That's right, brother. You know what I'm saying? The Lord said you do that, he's going to give you a crown of life anyway. I know, right? You trust in this devil, you're going to be destroyed, man. You, you see our people, they trusted in them. Whitney Houston, destroyed. Mm. Um, Grant? Sammy Davis Jr. destroyed. They ain't playing the devil on a, on a um, TV sitcom, man. Wow. You know? Oh, right. uh, only thing you got to do is type in uh, Sammy Davis Jr. plays the devil. You know what I'm saying? Had him playing the devil, bro. Damn. Can you believe it, bro? Mm. Damn. You know what I'm saying, bro? It's crazy, man. We got a movie role for you, bud. We're going to let you play the devil. We're going to give you lots of money. And if, if not that, we're going to have you put on a dress, right? 
It's gonna, no, bro, it's gonna be hilarious. Never trust thine enemy, for like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. Yep, iron is short of rust, man, over time, and that's just like Esau's uh wickedness, Esau. You know, his wickedness is gonna show that their wickedness will show on your job, right. they, will, they will backstab you. You know, you never trust him, man. Right. We're well, gonna we'll jump down, verse 13. Sirach chapter 12, verse 13. Who would pity a trauma that is bitten with a serpent? Yeah, you you take the maxine. Now you got Bell's palsy. Who who gonna who gonna pity you when right. the Lord show you many examples that this man is the devil? You know, right. you're playing with a snake and the snake bites you and inserts his poison into you. Why why should we feel sorry for you? Are you looking around all crazy. Right. Like somebody Start crying for you. You knew it was a snake. You knew it was a snake, man. As soon as the snake bites your ass, you look around all crazy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, and you can pick the Jake too, man. Right. <laughs> look, bro, looking around for some help and shit. <laughs> nah, right. yo, you knew it was a snake, man. Yep. Then, then, then you crying for help, right? Yep. The Lord was giving you help the whole time. Whole but time. you look, the Lord say he stretched out his hand. Yep. To give you help. You knocked it down, man. Yep. He started shaking hands with the serpent, man. Yep. And then that serpent bites you. No know, saying who's gonna pity you, man. Yep. Or any such as come nigh wild beast. Yeah, wild beast, man. Hey, we just read about the uh the raging bear, you know, and devouring lion. You know they're going to destroy you. You playing around right. with a, with a, one of those wild beasts, they will destroy you. But that's what you right. get because you shouldn't have been, you know, doing that. Right. And the Lord gave me giving you warnings, man. You know, many examples like, um, you know, look, the, the Lord got people faint on TV and everything. Yep, Jake still, right. You know what I'm right. Jake, you know what I'm saying, still, you know what I'm saying, trying to take Maxine Waters, bro. You know what I'm saying it's crazy, though, right? I mean, what you don't you don't have faith. So even seeing ain't believing. Right. Cause, Cause you know you, you know the term seeing is believing. Yep. See, we believe in things that we don't see, aka faith, but seeing ain't even believing to the majority yep. of our people, bro. Yep. See, that's bad, ain't it, man? It's bad. Seeing ain't even believing, bro. You see something, you still don't believe it. Yep. So I think that's faith. Yep. But Through. see that, that's strong delusions because right. you don't know that logically. The, the proof is in the pudding. Right. Still living in a fantasy world. Right. You know, that's strong delusions right there. Right. It says, um, I'm, I'm going to keep reading on. I'm, well, I'm going to jump down. Verse, um, because I read any such as come near wild beasts. I'm going to read on. 16. An enemy, an enemy, then, not your friend. An enemy. Speaketh sweetly with his lips, mm -hmm. but in his heart he imagineth how to throw thee into a pit. The words of this man is smooth as butter, man. But war is in his heart. Right. He, he will speak smoothly to you, and he's going to present himself as a non-threat. Right. The blue background screen to to be a non-threatening. He's going right. to hide. You know, he's he's going to get a so-called black woman up there. To you know, she gonna be the one that oh, I was a part of creating the Maxines. She, the first person to take the Maxine. Look, a black woman's taking it. So he's coming with his smooth words, you know, his sweet lips. Which he, really, which really, which really ain't taking it though. Yeah, right, it's right. All a, it's all an act, man. It's decept, yep. it's deception, man. Yep, placebo. No, yep, it's all witchcraft, man. Mm-hmm. That's, that's why that's why the scriptures tell us we're not ignorant of Satan devices, man. We're not ignorant. We know exactly what's going on. Plus, plus we scrutinize everything, bro. I know, right? The Lord got us scrutinizing everything. The Lord got us looking into everything, examining everything with a microscope, man. Mm -hmm. Look, look, pausing videos and everything. Right. Look, putting them in slow mode, you name it, man. Everything, man. Mm-hmm. He says, um, an enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips, but in his heart, his mind, he imagineth how to throw thee into a pit. 
he will weep with his eyes. But if he find opportunity, he will not be satisfied with blood. Yep. You read that he, earlier. He right? finds opportunity. Yep. He won't be satisfied with blood. He wants your soul. He man, this devil wants it all, man. Right. He wants it all, man. And he's just looking for bro, the right bro, opportunity. Bro. Can I just say this, bro? Ruling the earth want a, want enough for him, bro. Having it, having the beaches, having the final things in life, having all the money, all the gold, all the silver, all the virgins, all of this, all of that, having everything, being able to go to space, being able to go here, being able to do this, look, bro, being able to go up under the water, underground cities, cities in the sky, everything. Look, it won't enough for them, bro. Bro, say, say, say the greedy dogs, bro, they just can't have enough, bro. Mm hmm. It's, it's gonna as long as they rule it, but they just gotta have it's gotta have the bro yep. all the oil, <laughs> all the natural resources, everything got it all, bro. It's mm -hmm. still ain't enough for this devil. That's, that's why the Lord say, Be content with what I give you. That's you right. Know? Be content with what I give you. But this devil's not content, bro. Hmm. Yeah, no, bro, he got everything they want our soul now, bro. Yep. It says, if adversity come upon thee. Thou shall find him there first. Remember? Yep. Him and that lip. Yep. <laughs> Come on now. Let yep. you start catching hell. This devil gonna be the first one there, man. First one. Looking, mm -hmm. look, eyes all big, looking at y'all crazy, right, bro? <laughs> Ready for something to happen to you, right? Uh-huh. It says, and though he pretend to help thee. Yep, he gonna pretend to help you now. He gonna put on a big front. You know, we're, and we're doing it to help you uh, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You know, he's going to pretend. He's going to put, he's a good right. actor. Now. This man right. is a great actor. I want to get that, I want to get that definition right quick, bro. Come on. Yeah, bear pretend. with me. Come on. Yeah, I'm going to get that right quick. Mm -hmm. It makes me think of um, Eve and the Serpent. Right, man, man, put there on a front. There you go. Hey, look, bro, pretend. Listen to this speak and act so as to make it appear that something is the case when in fact it is not. Deceiver, <laughs> same thing. Yeah, deceptive. Look, going right back to that word, bro. Man, same definition, bro. Mm. It, look, ain't nothing but a sham. Mm -hmm. You know? Look, not really what it is represented as being. Yep. Used in a game or deception. Wow. Look, bro, imaginary. Mm. Fantasy. Yep. Look, bro, make believe. Make believe. You know what I'm saying? It's look made up. Made up. Look, mm. dream. <laughs> when it's really a nightmare, right? Right. Hey, look, bro, invented. Mm. Mm. Fictitious. Hey, look, bro, here's the kicker fake. Damn. Fake. Fake. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Look, artificial. Mm. Ain't even real. Yep. This man is artificial, bro. He ain't real, man. Real. I look dummy. Dummy. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Uh, look, bro, counterfeit. Mm-hmm. False. I look phony. Yep. You know? Look, that's the, that's what happens when this devil is pretending to help you, man. Mm-hmm. It says, um, and though he pretend to help thee, yet shall he undermine thee. Yep, he's looking to undermine you. He's looking to get you in a position where you're vulnerable so he can take advantage of that. Full advantage. Full advantage of that. So this is what you Israelites can expect for 2021. More deception, right? Yep. More deceit. This devil pretended to help you more and more, man, right? When he's basically undermining you, he's basically throwing tricks and plots and schemes your way. His devices, that's what he's going to come with in 2021. More devices, man. More lies. 
Yep. What to lie vision? Mm -hmm. Lie, 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 lie vision. Lie. You know, he's gonna put all his lies on the television, man. Yeah. And the average Israelite is gonna fall for it. Yeah. I got one more, and then the calm can finish his, and then we'll wrap it up, bro. All right. I got one more for you. So, Rock chapter fourteen, verse um five. He that is evil to himself, to whom will he be good? This devil hates himself. He hates his own people. You know, that whole 9-11 uh, that popped off, we know it was an inside job. He had a lot of his people in them buildings, man. I mean, can I just say Can I just say this, bro? This devil hates everything created on the face of the earth. <laughs> Facts. Man, he hates everything Every that the God <laughs> created on the face of the earth. He hates it, bro. And he tries to um, recreate it. Yep. You know, mm -hmm. eugenics. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He takes your sperm, you know what I'm saying, freezes it, and then it creates a monster. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? And then says hello, right? You know what I'm saying, bro? <laughs> man, it's not like it came on my nose and everything on that one, man. Jeez. <laughs> You yeah. fucked up crowd with the hello part. <laughs> There's this devil for you, though, bro. Right. This devil, man. He's evil, man. He's evil, man. Yeah. God. Yeah, bro, a, a straight up mad scientist, bro. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. He that is evil to himself, to whom will he be good? Yep. He don't even love himself. So why would he be good to you? Why would he right. be looking out for your best interest? Right. That man will do his whole family in, man. He get mad. He get pissed off, you know what I'm saying? Because his, his wife didn't cook the right um, meal. You know what I'm saying? He'll do everybody in, man. Right. You know? <laughs> He'll do everybody in, bro. Yep. It says, um, to whom will he be good? He shall not take pleasure in his goods. There is none worse than he. There's no one worse than this devil, man. No one. Hey, look, bro, now people are going to find out the hard way, right? Uh-huh. They're going to find hey. out the hard way, bro, because when words can't teach, adversity hey, will. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. The bar always say that. Uh -huh. Words can't teach, adversity will, bro. Because seeing ain't even believing, bro. Seeing people think, you know what I'm saying? Mouth, mouth going down this way, you know what I'm yep. saying? Yep, yep, Slap her mouth. Mouth down, mouth down here somewhere, bro. <laughs> and Jay told him, nah, it, it, it didn't happen because of that. You know what I'm saying? Jay said, nah, it didn't happen because of that, bro. It must have right. been something else, right? right? It had to be something else, right? My way down to the flow, bro. Keep that mask on, please. Right. <laughs> bro, look like something out of a horror movie, bro. It says, um, there is none worse than he that envieth himself. Mm-hmm. That man envies himself, bro. You know, I gotta bring out that definition. Mm hmm. Yep. Let me get it right quick. Speak right quick, bro. Yeah, this man, he, he's the worst, you know, thing on the face of the earth, man. You can't call him human because he ain't human. You know, he's the worst people on the face of the earth. The worst thing ever created, right? Worst thing ever created. And he's doing exactly what the Heavenly Father created him to do. Right. So the Lord told us not to trust our enemies, man. He's our number one enemy. I'm not really finding anything. Uh, I guess envy. I got to go to envy. Envy more like what? Jealous? Yeah, I'm about to go to just envy. Uh, yep, yep. Is that all envy right. thing? Con. I got it right quick. Envy. Um, it's a noun, a feeling or discontented discontented or resentful longing aroused by someone else's possessions qualities or luck wow that man's jealous of us bro yeah he hates us bro he's mm -hmm. look he's jealous of our qualities bro yep you know what i'm saying yeah. of our godlike talents bro you see mm -hmm. this man look look jealousy bro 
He's jealous of us, man. It it, it show you that in the movie on um, Get Out. Right. Yeah. 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 He almost had everything, man. Right. Island, land, money, anything that they could ask for, but yet they still wanted what Jake had. Right. Okay? They wanted that, that spirit. They wanted um, the looks. They wanted everything. The, the they wanted horse. the speed. They wanted the eyes. Bro, uh, yeah, bro, bro, yeah, bro. Our immune system is the weakest on the face of the earth, right? When they look, bro, they want our eyes, bro. They want our lungs. They yep. want our liver. They want our heart. You know, they want our spirit, bro. Yeah. Because look, we, we we're lively people. That's right. You see, you see them. I know. I know. We um, we went to the club years ago, man. Probably. Like, 14, 15 years ago, you know what I'm saying? And um, one of my people was in there dancing, whatever, doing all crazy dance. You know what I'm saying? It was, it, was, it, was, it was cool. It was fly, though, right? Yeah, yeah. And them devils were looking at him like, how the hell is he doing that? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> them devils just stopped what they were doing, bro. They were just like this at Jake up in there, man. You know? Mm -hmm. Watch, watching us, bro, being real, in, look, trying to do what we do. Bro, they can't dance. We got that salt, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We got that flavor, bro. They jealous of how we cook and all that. Of how we act, how we dance, all that, man. Our mannerisms. Yep. You know, it says aroused by someone else's possessions. You know, and and they just of us, bro. They just of us, and we on the bottom. How much more when the Lord bring us back up, bro? Mm -hmm. You know, it says um, the covetousness. They want what we got, bro. Yep. AKA that birthright, right? That's right. It says spike. Bitterness, discontent. That's why they come at us so hard, bro. Mm -hmm. they, they, bro, they want us out of here, bro. Yep. They want us out of here, man. I think that's pretty much it. Look, bro, they hold a grudge, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They're holding a grudge, bro. To be resentful of and mm -hmm. all that, man. Envious, man. It says, it says, it says, once again, there is none worse than he that envieth himself. And this is a recompense of his wickedness. And if he do with good, six hundred dollar stimulus check, right? You know, the dude said, "Hell no, I ain't giving him two thousand dollars. I'm giving him six <laughs> hundred. And if he do with good, he do with it unwillingly. He do it unwillingly. He he's trying to buy time so he can get you to, you know, trust in his um new world order, his Maxine. Right. There's, there's a reason why he reluctantly. Release six hundred dollars, because you know, really, right. he should have gave more than that. But he gave the Lord have him give a certain number because look, he's only doing that because he 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 wants to bring a bigger agenda, man. It's and, then the scripture, and then the scripture said, "This dude, he really didn't even want to do it. Didn't even want to do it." It says, "If he do it good, he do it unwillingly." Yep, unwillingly. Yep. And at the last, he would declare his wickedness. He going to declare his wickedness, man. He's going to make it clear. He's going to uh, pronounce it, man. You know? And that is going to be shown through Revelation 12 and 12, his great wrath. You know? You're going you gonna, you gonna to truly come out your mouth and say, that was the devil that the Bible spoke of. Yep. It ain't going to be no shadow of a doubt. You're going to admit that there was the devil that the Bible spoke of. But for the majority of you Israelites, it's going to be too late. Yep. But we'll bring out this last scripture for the hope for elective nation of Israel. Lord, we're only part of that number. Because look, a whole lot of them saying doom and gloom is coming. But then uh, um, deliverance and salvation is coming too. Yep. So so bring that out in the coming. We'll wrap it up, man. Go ahead. This is Isaiah chapter 35, verse 3. Strengthen ye the weak hands and confirm the feeble knees. You say to, to them, go ahead. Say to them that are of a fearful heart. Yeah, because we just read all kinds of scriptures on how this devil's coming down. Mm -hmm. So say to them, look, strengthen their hands, confirm the feeble knees. The word feeble goes into weak. We have no power. We have no might. Only th Our strength comes from the words of Yahweh by Shemiah Rashad. This is all we have, man. This is all we have to rely on. So we bring these scriptures out to comfort our people with, man. Right. You know? We give them comfort through the scriptures, man. 
Say to them that are of a fearful heart, they always worried about something. This devil, you know, saying, making it mandatory that they take Maxine or they ain't going to be able to have no job. No, no public assistance, no Section 8, no food stamps, no WIC, no nothing. If you don't take Maxine, say to them that are of a fearful heart, constantly, constantly thinking about something, constantly worried about a roof over their head, lights, waters, you know what I'm saying? food for the babies, all that, man. Go ahead. Say to them that are of a fearful heart, right? Be strong. Hey, look, be strong. What strengthen us? This word, this knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures. This is what's keeping us stable, man. Be strong. Go ahead. Fear not. Fear not. This devil coming in like a flood. Fear not. Go ahead. Behold. Which means to look. Look. Your God, Yahweh was shy. Right. Will come with vengeance. Our power is getting ready to come with vengeance. Yeah, this devil's coming in like a flood. He's ruling the earth right about now. He's coming with his wicked devices, his tricks, his plots, his schemes, Maxine, all that, man. But our power is coming with vengeance. Go ahead. Even Yahweh Bashima was shy with a recompense. Yeah, the Lord is getting ready to come and pay these devils back along with two thirds and these heathens. Go ahead. He will come. And save us. And Lord willing, it'll be this year, 2021, we'll get saved and delivered out of this hell hole, man. So just keep holding on. Hold on tight with all your might. Pray for more confidence. Pray for more faith. Pray for more strength. Pray for more fear. You have about Shemiel Shai. Pray for more brotherly love. Pray that you have about Shemiel Shai. Keep his Holy Spirit that Rakakwa Dash on you, man. That's right. Cause, Cause it's going down, man. It's going down. Any closing statements, brothers? Stay strong. You know, the hopeful lex stay strong because uh our salvation is nearer than we believe, you know. We we almost out of here. We just gotta uh, stay the course, you know. That's all I want to say. To come. Nah. Hey, Lord willing, the elect of the nation of Israel is edified, you know. 2021 year of destruction. The what is it, New Year's Eve of destruction, man. Lord willing, the elect was edified. We're saying that we want to give all praise, honor, and glory once again to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh. Wow. 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 Next up, wow. wow. on us, the apostles and elders of great millstone, the ones that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here for a bit, we're going to send us some curses before we go out. Rakata Yahweh. Rakata Yahweh. Rakata Yahweh. Rakataya <laughs> I watch him. Wa. 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 Mashapatim. Mashapatim. Al. Al. Cal. Cal. Adawamium. Adawamium. Wa. Wa. Go young. Go young. Wa. 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 Two thirds. Two thirds. Two thirds. Wa. 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 Baba Kasha. 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 Yahweh. 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 Hashem. 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 Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. Hashem. 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 Raka. 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 Kodash. 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 Barak. 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 A thumb. A thumb. A thumb. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.